3,220 feet above sea level. We welcome you to college football on CBS Sports Network presented by Geico. The Missouri Tigers from the SEC have traveled all the way to Laramie, Wyoming to take on the Cowboys from the Mountain West Conference. With Jenny Dell, Aaron Murray, Rick Neuheisel, I'm Carter Blackburn. And Rick, dare I say, the Mountain West Conference has already turned some heads in college football. And these Wyoming Cowboys and their fans ready to, as they say around here, ride for the brand. The United States Census says there's 577,000 in this beautiful state of Wyoming. That's the least populated state in the union. But after listening to him play Cowboy Joe and sing it loud, it sounds like they're all here tonight. I promise you there is passion and then some here in this stadium, and they believe they can take on these Tigers and tussle with them all night long. I think coaches always worry about having enough energy to start a game. But this is week one. I was on the sidelines and warm-ups. They were saying, hey, simmer down a little bit. Don't peak too soon. Save a little bit of juice for the game. I'm excited. The players are excited and the coach are excited for this week one matchup. Well, the Missouri fans are also excited because this could be a banner season. They got the quarterback that just about everybody in college football wanted. After week four last year, Dabo Sweeney made national news by benching his 16-2 and two starter, Kelly Bryant, in favor of Trevor Lawrence. We know how that worked out for him, but, Tre but uh, Kelly Bryant had to go someplace else, and Missouri is excited as they can be that he chose there. He's a wonderful athlete and if he needs somebody to look to this is the guy, Albert Okuebunam. And if it sounds hard to pronounce, he's even harder to cover. He will be a matchup nightmare all night long. So Aaron, not only the NFL scouts, but all of the Wyoming defense has their eyes on Alberto, which means Logan Wilson and his defense tall task. Well, well, Logan Wilson is the anchor of this defense. You see it every year, especially these past couple years. He's number two heading into the season with most tackles in the FBS. He's going to be in charge of covering Alberto. Plain and simple, you've got to stop, stop Alberto. And then you got to worry about a mobile quarterback in Kelly Bryant. So his plate is full tonight, but hey, he's up for the challenge. I'm excited to see him. And for Wyoming head coach Craig Bull, a Nebraska alum, now in his sixth season coaching the Cowboys. Across the way, Barry Odom, a Missouri alum. So almost an old school big eight field between these two coaches and a lot of respect between them. For more on the challenges for the Tigers, here's Jenny Dell. Well, Carter, you mentioned it. We are 7,220 feet above sea level. This is the highest elevation of any college football stadium. And this is the first time that Missouri has played at this high of an elevation. It's actually the first time they've played at any elevation this high in the last 10 years. So special preparations went into this game. Three weeks ago, they instituted a diet to help increase the amount of oxygen that the blood can carry at one given time. What does that include? Hydration, beetroot juice, and iron-rich food. Guys, Coach Odom worked hard on creating the proper balance of preparing his team for these elements, but also stress as soon as this ball kicks off, it is time to play. And we are almost there. 78 degrees of very light wind. And the Missouri Tigers from the SEC, the Wyoming Cowboys from the Mountain West Conference, hoping to join the list of the Mountain West upsets thus far. The 2019 season kicks off for the Tigers and the Cowboys, and it will be Cowboy football to begin. So our Chick-fil-A starting lineups begin with the Wyoming Cowboys and Sean Chambers from Kerman, California and the Valley of the San Joaquin. A year ago as a freshman, a much needed boost for a moribund Cowboy offense. Midway through the season, then four games in, broken leg. So now he's back as a redshirt freshman and Wyoming hopes this is the beginning of a breakthrough year for Sean Chambers. Xavier Valade in the backfield with him. Running on first down. A good push. Got three, maybe four yards on first down. So let's take a look at the rest of the Wyoming offensive starters. Yeah, I think Valade, the one you just saw carry that ball right there, he's going to be the key in this game. A lot of eyes will be on Chambers. We're going to see if he can pass the ball, but he's a big-time runner for the quarterback position. So you've got to take some hits off him. So see Valade get going early in this football game. Call it second and seven. 
that's Conway in motion, and it's Valaday who takes it, and he is shoved back as soon as he gets to the line. Bolton leads the way for the Missouri defense. Let's take a look at that Tiger defense. Well, they're led by number 47, Cale Garrett. Garrett was a last-second recruit. He was on his way to one of the military academies. They said, we've got a scholarship for you, and are they glad they did so? 112 tackles last year. If you count the last two years, he's fourth in the FBS right now in tackling. He will be all over the field. And they aren't exactly where Wyoming didn't want to be, third and long. The quarterback that's an unproven thrower, this is not the situation you want to be in early in this game. So Chambers to throw for the first time, it's tipped, and it is incomplete. It was batted at the line, and the Cowboys go three and out. Good push from Jordan Elliott up front. This is going to be the key. Get Wyoming in third and long situations. Turn up the heat and play man-to-man -man defense. This is, what I will, this is what I would do if I was a defense coordinator as well. Unproven thrower at quarterback. You don't know what he can do with his arm. Let's play tight man-to-man -man and make him be accurate. Excellent play there by Jordan Elliott, putting pressure on uh, the quarterback, making him get, out of, get it out of his hands early. Galovich punts it away. Rashad Floyd is back. Former wide receiver now. Defensive back still punt return. Touch the Tiger. Cowboys down at the 35-yard line. So good field position for Mizzou. 36-yard punt. We take a look at our Chick-fil-A starting lineups on this side of the ball. And the Missouri offense led now by Kelly Bryant from Calhoun Falls, South Carolina, on the Savannah River, as Peter Ball pointed out in The Athletic this week. Back to his freshman year of high school, he's won 86% of the football games he's played in. Proven winner before when he was a Clemson Tiger, now a Missouri Tiger. The expectations to win bigger than ever for Kelly Bryant. Roundtree with him in the backfield. Roundtree takes it left side. Roundtree rides it for a gain of six as we look at the rest of the Missouri offensive starters. Well, we just saw Larry Roundtree, 1,200 plus yards last year, 1919 on his career. That's more than anybody else in the history of Missouri football from the running back spot. He's an absolute asset for Kelly Bryant. Bryant out of the gun. Finds Roundtree again. Right side, first down and more across the 50. Roundtree takes it to the 45. It's a gain of 14 before Weber brings him down. Now get the big boys up front. They have a size advantage on this Missouri offensive line. This is what you want. Quarterback first year in this system. If you can get the run game going, he's going to be a lot more relaxed in the pocket. Tigers cross the 50 for the first time. Play action, and now Bryant on the roll. Outside the pocket looking long. Kelly Bryant with the legs, dances out of bounds. Looked like he was looking for the deep ball, but instead goes out of bounds. A chance to look at the Wyoming defense. Yeah, Andrew Wingard and Marcus Epps gone last year. The two leaders of this defense at the safety position. Rome Weber going to be asked to be in the box, going to be asked to cover tight ends, receivers in the slot, come up in the run support as well. So still a gain of three. Make it at second and seven. Bryant, run, keeper. He reads it perfectly. Doesn't even take the hit, but gets a first down before Halliburton gained a nine first down Mizzou. This has got to be so much fun for Derek Dooley, the offensive coordinator for Missouri, to have a guy like Kelly Bryant in the backfield. You can do so many things. In every one-back set, you really are a two-back offense because Bryant is just like a tailback. It's just a, and, and he's used to this up-tempo offense. He looks very comfortable early. Bryant gives to Roundtree. Short gain on first down. And I guess, Aaron, that's the big question. What does Kelly Bryant look like in the Missouri offense? What does the Missouri offense now look like with well, Kelly Bryant? I think you're going to see less vertical throws this year compared to last year with Drew Locke. But you watch Missouri last season offensively, a lot of RPOs, a lot of short passes. This is why Drew Locke's completion percentage went from about 58 to 62, 63. And Kelly Bryant, we know, is an accurate passer, can hit those short ones. Second round pick of the Broncos. Bryant. That's Beatty out of the backfield on second and eight. Beatty goes rolling for another Missouri first down all the way to the 21. Wilson finally finishes it off. That's officially the first pass for Kelly Bryant in his Missouri career and a completion. Well, it's easy passes right now. You're, you're not going to want, even the one he scrambled on, they were just hitches on the outside. Get him going in this offense a little bit. Don't make it too complicated. He'll have his time to stretch the field. When this defense comes up, then maybe we'll see a shot later in the first quarter and a half. From just outside the 20, Ryan going to hand off. Beatty has it. Tripped and falls. And so Missouri 
Red Zone last year's 61% touchdown. As we take a look at tonight's Red Zone, brought to you by Verizon. So the national average at 63, Missouri was actually a tick below that. But, Rick, they took so many big shots with Drew Luck. And, and the field consensus, obviously, when you get down there and you're trying to throw the ball down there, it gets more confined. With Kelly Bryant at quarterback, the running opportunities will be more multiple. And here's Roundtree on the right side, pushing. Roundtree takes it inside the 15. Gain of three. Third and short in the red zone coming. Interesting coaching decision here. Are we in four down? Are we going to take a field goal? That will impact the play call here on third down. I would probably be in four down the way they're controlling the line of scrimmage right now. So you can look for either a play action pass or something in the zone read world with Kelly Bryant maybe keeping the ball. First third down from the zoo. Third and two. Bryant going to keep it, and it's wide open for a first down. Bryant inside the 10. First and goal, Mizzou. Weber finally makes a stop. Bryant with the legs, and Aaron has him set up. Well, the thing is, you're going to see Missouri, or Wyoming's going to crash the defensive end on the outside, thinking there's going to be a scrape over top, but they have a tight end blocking him as well. Great call and great execution. First and goal, Bryant, fade, in zone, incomplete. Looking for Jonathan Nance, the grad transfer from Arkansas, hole in coverage. Just a one-on-one -on -one shot there, a fade. You'd like to throw that when you get that kind of coverage to the back shoulder. That'll be something they'll learn as they get more comfortable with each other. Albert O is back in the game. Remember, we talked about him being a matchup problem. Keep your eyes on 81 right here. Albert O waving him. The junior 17 TDs in 18 games. Bryant, hand, round three. Good push inside the five. Third and goal coming for Missouri. Opening drive. Halliburton makes a stop. Well, talking with Jake Dickert, the, the Wyoming defensive coordinator, said this is their plan in the red zone. They're going to put the box, heavy box, extra safety, extra linebacker, and then play tight man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. Plain and simple. Can Kelly Bryant be accurate with the ball to these guys on fades, on slants, whatever it may be to win one-on-one -on -one coverage? They are already showing zero coverage, which is the norm when you get in this kind of confined space. But again, 81 would be where I'd be focusing. 12 play opening drive for Missouri and so even with the timeout there for Mizzou Barry Odom trying to encourage his, his offense coming back Kelly Bryant's led him all the way down opening drive third and goal coming and the Tigers have moved it very well so far against the Cowboys Rick. very efficient very efficient and this is going to be a, a bad formula for Wyoming if they're able to control the ball on the ground Wyoming has to keep them in front of them we heard that yesterday in our coaches meetings because of a speed disparity but if they're able to push and create uh, easy running lanes which has been the case here early it could be a long night for the Cowboys well, that's the difficulty with facing offense like Missouri they're, they've so much speed in the outside. Obviously, Albert O at tight end. Great running game. And then a mobile quarterback. And then some studs at offensive line. I mean, they got five dudes up front. They're 320 plus. So, where do you stop them? It's kind of pick your poison defensively and hope you can match up somehow. Craig Bowl said yesterday, we need to make Kelly Bryant uncomfortable. Make him make throws that he is not accustomed to. That hasn't been the case on the first drive. Well, Derek Dooley has some excellent weapons to choose from on third and goal. Parker late getting in there for the Tigers. Out of the timeout. Out of the timeout. Play clock at five. Brian get it snap. Third and goal. Heavy pressure. Brian steps up. Tosses. Touchdown. Mizzou. Bryant to Nance. And the Kelly Bryant era at Mizzou opens with a touchdown drop gotta love that the creativity in the in the pocket right there it's funny we talk about Rome Weber at the beginning of the show he's gonna have a free shot right there gotta take him down one-on-one -on -one in the pocket misses and that's the most dangerous thing when you sell out and don't get it you can't expect your guys to cover that long in the back end athleticism clearly on display right there mm. guys he's hard to get it down I mean he is such a good athlete standing in that pocket McCann's PAT makes it 7 nothing Missouri and the TD pass from the former Clemson Tiger Kelly Bryant to the former Arkansas Razorback Jonathan Nance but it's 7 for Mizzou
A touchdown drive to get it started for Kelly Bryant and the Missouri Tigers. 7 nothing on the Wyoming Cowboys. Let's check in on our principal financial game plan. Well, I think for Missouri right now, you saw a perfect example that entire first drive. Keep this defense guessing. Run, pass, RPO, zone read, whatever it is. Defensively, make Chambers win with his arm. You saw also in the first position for Wyoming, third and six to third and ten. He has to sit in the pocket and win. That's not a good thing. And for Wyoming, they've got to control the ball, possess it. They've got to win the time of possession today, play keep away, if you will. They're off to a poor start there, four and a half minutes to just one and a half. Only three plays, three and out for Wyoming, and then the 12-play touchdown drive for Mizzou. So the early returns, positive for the Tigers in their maiden voyage to Laramie. That's a touchback to the 25-yard line. Tonight, 11.30 Eastern, CBS Sports Network heads across the pond to Sweden for a fight night unlike any other. Don't miss the Muay Thai card with two world title fights on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Aaron Murray, Rick Neuheisel, Ginny Dell on the sideline. I'm Carter Blackburn, and we, we eschewed the giant cowboy hats for the open. I'm not a sure must. it was a good decision. A fashion also must. Also didn't make Larry. that wardrobe Maybe decision. not a must. <laughs> we tried to get Aaron to break it out, <laughs> but the answer was no. Good push up the middle this time for Valaday. The sophomore from Illinois has a gain of nine on first down. And, Rick, that's where the Cowboys need to get to. Absolutely. They have to win the line of scrimmage here today. It, it, we talk about time of possession. The way to do that is control it on the ground. They've got a running quarterback. They have numbers. The math will be in their favor most of the night. They've just got to be aggressive at the front, just like they were on that previous play. And they have to, they have to win first and second down as well. Get to these second and, and third and short situations. Chambers fakes it, tosses it, is tipped and incomplete. And there's a missed opportunity on a bullet ball on very short. Well, and that's the, that's one of the issues, too. Of, of when do you need to bring the fastball? And when do you got to have a little bit of touch right there? It's a quick slant on the inside. Should you catch it as a receiver? Yes. But at the end of the day, you can make the job easier for your guy, nice and controlled. Instead of putting it at his head, put it right in his chest. Here was the tale of the tape a year ago. We talked about time of possession. It's hard to possess it when you're 3 of 13 on third down. Missouri one tonight. This is big down right here. More conversions to the Wyoming had attempts, and that will be close. On the right side, Cole Garrett comes up to make the stop, and from that initial spot, looks like it's going to be short. Craig Bowl, as you pointed out, was an old Nebraska guy. He'll be conservative here. He'll look to punt the ball, play field position. It's early. But I guarantee there's some Cowboy fans here who say, hey, let's go for this thing. I like the decision. I, I do, too. It's too early in the game. You saw what Missouri just did. You don't get this, and you give them the ball the 35-yard line. I, good decision. Hopefully, your punter go out there and boom it for you. Galovich will punt it away to Floyd. Fourth and short. Floyd calls for the fair catch right around the 26-yard line. So the Clemson career, the decision to transfer, all of that is in the past. For now, number seven. An impressive start for Missouri all the way around, but the seven on the board for Kelly Bryant, and now at long last on the field for the Tigers. Carter, I think the word I'd use is comfortable. I mean, there's no urgency to none of that nervous energy that normally accompanies a first game, especially with a new team. Very, very comfortable. Look at this play, just making uh, people look silly in that pocket and finding the open receiver, Nance. Beautiful first drive. Two for three, 12 passing yards, so 20 rushing yards and early indicator. Both are going to be a factor for Kelly Bryant, the Missouri offense. Beatty is with them in the backfield. Bryant on the roll. Incomplete. Left it high for Jonathan Johnson. Incomplete. Now, this is a very short list of the notable QB transfers, grad transfers, including Kelly Bryant. Well, Jalen Hurts, I think all eyes will be on that game tomorrow versus Houston. It's the only game on TV. Everyone will be watching. He's a stud now. He's the same thing like Kelly Bryant can do with his arm and with his legs. Maryland fans hope everybody gets every game's like today. Lopsided. Bryant. No.
nothing doing there. A late push by Halliburton. No flag. Brian Halliburton both take a tumble on the sideline. Get ready for third and long. It's a great play for the Wyoming defense, but I like the maturity that Brian shows here. Not trying to make something out of nothing. Take the uh, loss. Live to play again. You've got a 7 nothing lead. This is going to be interesting, this play call right here for Missouri and Dooley. Do you want to test them out early? You got the speed on the outside. There's a good chance you're going to get the matchup somewhere. Do you trust Kelly Bryant enough? We know we trust him with his legs. Do you now trust him with his arm? Third and long on Missouri's second possession. First one went 12 plays for a touchdown. Bryant steps up, rolls out of the pocket, tosses right at the sticks. It is caught. Johnson has the grab. Where is he spotted? Right at the sticks. Rome Weber comes up to make the stop on Johnson, and he is just short. It's fourth down coming for the Tigers. That was a fantastic play by Rome Weber. You talked about him in the open, Aaron. You talk about closing on the play. Brilliant by Kelly Bryant to find an open receiver, but an unbelievable tackle uh, closing to keep him short of the first down. Well, and the offense is staying on the field for the Missouri Tigers on fourth and one. My guess is they're going to try to get him to jump, but we'll see. You're down to they six seconds. They certainly have the weapons to make the first down here. Bryant, hands, Beatty, right side. He is very close, and a big spot coming. You're right, Carter. This is all predicated on the spot. My guess is he's going to have it by the nose of a ball. But Wyoming fans are hoping I'm wrong. Great look right down the line. First down, Mizzou. Beatty gets just enough for a fourth down conversion. It's interesting. They went with Beatty here. Fourth and one. And why aren't you going with Roundtree, your bigger back? Beatty's the scat back. The guy you want to get in the flat, quick throws to. But just enough there to get this drive moving and also keep that Wyoming defense on the field. Albert Okuwe with him in motion. Ryan, fake it, rolling. Looks that way and it's complete. It's Scott across the 40 yard line. Scott. So you pick up fourth down and then dragging across Cam Scott for a gain of 29 yards. Well, this is where Kelly Bryant feels good. I saw him all warm ups on the field, throwing on the run to his left, to his right. He loves it. He is an athlete. So that deep cross, he can throw that thing in his sleep. Eric Dooley's offense hurries up. First and 10, fake it again, toss it again. Jonathan Johnson on the edge. First down, Mizzou. Another trip to the red zone. Loose football. Johnson hangs on, however. Around the 16, nearly stripped. This has been a staple of Missouri offense for some time now. Even before Derek Dooley got there, they play a run offense inside, but play two-man combinations outside. They gave him the quick out. Kelly Bryant took it, and Johnson made him pay for it. Great hands by Johnson to get them back on the football after the bobble. Beatty takes it on first down. Beatty trying to pick his way, and he is dropped inside the 15-yard line. Minimal gain. Messiah's Gandy makes the stop. It is important for Wyoming right now. You don't want to go down 14-0 early in this game. Listen, great drive by Missouri, yes, but if Wyoming can somehow hold them to a field goal and keep this to a 10-0 game, that is a win right now. Offensively, they got to figure it out. Defensively, right now, your focus is let's load the box a little bit, let's play one-on-one, -on -one, and then see if Kelly Bryant can throw a fade and beat you that way. Cowboys don't have a first down. Missouri, second possession, second red zone trip. Bryant's going to hand again. Beatty. Another short gain, third down coming for the Tigers. To your point, Aaron, this is a huge down coming up. Third down and five. We talked to Jake Dickert, the defensive coordinator. He said we need to be complex, but complexity through simplicity, meaning we can't try to do too much against up-tempo. So look for a lot of disguises, but they're going to try to be, in terms of their base stuff, in very comfortable coverages so that they know what they're doing and their technique is proper. It's Parker at tight end rather than Albert O for third and six. Brian from the gun, over the middle, caught, that's Parker, and he has it inside the five. Short of the goal line, jumped back by the Cowboys, but Daniel Parker comes up with a huge grab. Wilson and Malawia on the stop. 
That's Hit. a great read right here. All clear. You see three verticals on your left. Parker just sits down right there, finds the zone, and then gets north, north as soon as he catches the ball. And now first and goal. Bryant, handoff. Short gain. It'll be second and goal. This is obviously the money area of the field. We call this the black zone. We transition from the red zone to the black zone. When we get inside the 10, you have to be at your best. And obviously, Wyoming has to sell out here. So you take your safeties and bring them up to the line of scrimmage, which makes you very prone to little pop passes over the top. Wouldn't be surprised to see one here in the next couple of downs. Round three and over waving them back in the game for second and goal. Bryant will hand. Round three, touchdown, Tigers. They're just having their way right now, Carter. They are manhandling the Cowboys up front and uh, making it look easy. The first one went 12 plays, second one 11, same result there, and touchdown, Missouri. They're just, they're big up front, plain and simple. They got some guys up front this offensive line. You saw Borum right there, number 79, the left guard, pull around. That's 340 pounds coming in at safeties and linebackers. Great job just to get enough for your running back to get in there. Before the PAT. The field was a touchdown. The previous play is under review. A replay official, Ron Leatherwood, wants to take a look. Eye in the sky caught something here, Carter. That should be easy. I think he's in. Knee doesn't go down until he crosses the end zone. The guess was the knee might have touched, but I think the uh, video is conclusive that it didn't. And you know, when we talk to replay officials, they say sometimes if there's a short gain and you're not sure, you just let it go because you're not. Sure. It may not have a consequential impact. Obviously, a touchdown. There, it's not like the NFL where all everything's reviewed. But if it's a difference between a touchdown, six points, they want to take a look just in case. Get it right. Coaches, old coaches like us, that's all we want you to do. Now, who are you calling right. old, Rick? Oh, I was old. not, I was not at I'm all. I'm sitting up here with Aaron Murray. I recruited this kid. <laughs> <laughs> and but you didn't get him. No, another one. He put got on away. a good sell, though. He put on a really good sell. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Touchdown, Larry Roundtree. So, so Rick put on a good sell, Aaron, but it was Georgia, the Bulldogs, anyway. Yeah, you got to stay East Coast. You got to stay SEC. You know, you grew up in Florida. It's hard to go out there to California. He did but, a good but, pitch, but though. But you did like the Rose Bowl. Oh, the Rose Bowl was beautiful. Probably my favorite stadium of all time. You're not alone there. They're fond of War Memorial Stadium here in Laramie. McCann PAT. So Wyoming has 13 total yards in the game. And the they lose a gap, and Trey Smith makes them pay. Yeah, Erica Boje, number 69, does a great job. And we'll talk about big left guard, 354 pounds. Pretty much through the defensive tackle, right out of the zone, wide open for his running back. More yards on that play than Wyoming had in the previous two drives. And so, why not hand it off again? This one doesn't go quite as well for Trey Smith. The grad transfer from Louisville, Cale Garrett, they're on the stop. Cale Garrett, that uh, anchor in the middle, 112 tackles a year ago. A awesome, awesome inside player. Maybe a little bit challenged sideline to sideline, but you want have an instinct for the ball, he's got it. Let him in tackles last year, 112. electric personality as well. Chambers in there, the Missouri defense is ready for the stop again. Now it's Akil Byers, played outside last year, inside this year. That's what the Tigers are looking for from Byers. I just want you to show, look how many guys are at the line of scrimmage right now. Everyone's lined up within 10 yards, even the safety's within 10 yards, and these guys are ready to go. They said, if you're, like we said at the beginning, if you're going to beat me, Chambers needs to beat me with his arm. Plain and simple, they're going to continue to load that box. Again, speed advantage to Missouri. Flag is down well prior to the snap. Substitution infraction. Offense broke the huddle with more than 11 players. Mm. Five-yard penalty remains third down. Typical first game type penalty, especially with a redshirt freshman uh, under center. It, listen, they have got to make him two-dimensional. Right now, Sean Chambers has not proven, as you just pointed out, that he can beat him with his arm. And this is the absolute down they want to avoid. Third and long. Cowboys have to stay out of it. 
Valadez in the backfield along with Chambers. At the cross midfield to get a first down. So Chambers winds up and throws well off the mark for Austin Conway. And Wyoming finally gets a first down and then promptly throw it in reverse against Missouri. They're punting again. Oh, those aren't the, the passes that he likes. He feels very comfortable. He's tall, big statue in the pocket. He likes things over the middle. He sees things. He can accurately throw the football. When you get outside the hashes, that's something that he's going to have to continue to work on throughout the season, making those throws on time and with anticipation. It was a great conversation you had yesterday with Sean about those throws. So. No flags. Now there it is. Contact with the punter. So we'll take a look at this one as Floyd across the 15 yard line dances out of bounds. But you have a flag down after the punter was contacted. Cowboys are going to get the ball back. That's going to be roughing the punter. Talk about first game mistakes. <laughs> Huge one. Running into the kicker. Defense number 25. That penalty will be declined. First down. A break for Missouri. Running rather than roughing. Maybe a good acting job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe a good acting job. Everything going Missouri's way. I'm America's first and no left. Hybrid minivan. I'm America. This song? With the kids in the car? Oh, no, you didn't. Get a great deal on a Pacifica at the Chrysler Labor Day sales event. Our tradition for my football team is we dress up, shirt and tie. I had a tie, but I didn't know how to tie it. Usually I would have my dad help me what he was deployed. And I'm thinking, don't worry about it. My grandma should know. He says, can you tie a tie? And I'm like, no, but we're on our way to Chick-fil-A. I recognize them because they came into our store so much. Miss Bertha and Mr. Terrence, I'm like, of course, I'll help them out and show them how to tie a tie. It wasn't just the tie, it's what was in your heart. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. I'm good, man. You got it. <laughs> most awarded network and the only one with the galaxy note 10 5g right now when you buy one you get a galaxy note 10 free that's verizon football is a team sport but it's not just the guys on the field it's the unsung heroes who help us win throughout the season they're tough and hard working for these professionals werner products are an essential part of every job they're versatile adaptable and always up for the challenge they deliver balance and trust and you can count on them for quality They've worked their way to the top and stay there. Now's the time to find great deals on Warner products. Visit stepupwithwarner.com to learn more. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By Verizon, America's most reliable network. And by DiGiorno. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. University of Wyoming, founded 1886. It's a 14-0 start for Missouri. Now the penalty was declined because, like the result of the punt. So have Missouri pin back inside the 20. Why take the five-yard penalty and do it all over again? Jonathan Johnson makes the catch there. But the issue is for... Everything's going right for Barry Odom. Nothing right so far for Wyoming. And a 14 nothing start. Kelly Bryant, football back in his hands. They're taking advantage of the same things they took advantage of last year in a 40-13 to win. Bryant pulls it, takes it across the 25, third and short coming. Mario Mora trying to rip it away from Bryant after a gain of three. I think right now defensively for Wyoming, 
third and short. Your punters had a great punt, was able to put him inside the 20. If you get off the field right here, you give your offense an opportunity to get the ball around the 30 or 40 yard line. I'm going to play tight man to man coverage, heavy inside leverage to give up any kind of slant. Make sure Kelly Bryant can beat you with an outbreaking route. This is a cover zero looking defense. You can see him running back now to cover one. Toss, round tree, trying to find the edge. Cowboys trying to run him down and a big pop on the edge. So four is four down. C.J. Colden, loss of two. Fourth down coming as the seconds tick away in the first quarter. Great job by the Wyoming defense playing an edge. We always talk on in coaching parlance of keeping an edge, making sure you keep the ball inside of you. So to all your help, all those other guys in the same colored uniform, Cowboys were brilliant right there. A first quarter dominated by the Missouri Tigers. 14-0. College football on CBS Sports Network presented by Geico. Golden Corral's juicy endless sirloin and saucy St. Louis style ribs really put the meat in Meet Me in St. Louis. Endless sirloin and St. Louis style ribs. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. We trust USA more than any other company out there. They give us excellent customer service every time. Our 18-year-old was in an accident. USA took care of her car rental and getting her car towed. All I had to take care of was making sure that my daughter was okay. If I met another veteran, they were with another insurance company, I would tell them, you need to join USAA because they have better rates and better service. We're the Gomez family. We're the Rivera family. We are the Kirby family, and we are USAA members for life. Get your auto insurance quote today. Now's your chance to save big on America's favorite boats during the model year clearance sale. Save up to $2,500 on remaining 2019 Tracker and Sun Tracker boats. Save up to $3,500 on Tahoe, up to $4,500 on Regency, and save up to $5,000 on remaining Nitro boats. Plus bonus factory cash on select models and thousands more in savings compared to 2020 models. Hurry to Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, and Tracker Boating Centers nationwide. Do you use catheters? Are you using the catheter that's really best for you? Oh, yeah. For years, I've been using one kind of catheter, and I never knew that there were other really great catheters available until Liberator sent me samples to try. If I had not tried the samples from Liberator, I might never have found the perfect catheter for me. Liberator Medical sent me a catheter that was easier for me to use right out of the package. Now that I've found the best catheter for me, it's made my life much easier. My catheters were completely paid for, not a dime out of my pocket. There are so many innovative catheters. Get the best catheter for you. Call Liberator Medical. Get your free catheter sample pack. Call 1-800-662-9549. That's 1-800-662-9549. We're feeling all the love in Wyoming these past couple of days. You guys have got Wyoming down to a T. That's University of Wyoming alumni, Alicia Kraft, who wrote those songs. Second quarter begins with a punt and the first punt of Tucker McCann's collegiate career. The senior kicker, now punter, and we begin second quarter with a flag. Snap infraction, offense number 49. Five-yard penalty remains fourth down. Oh, hate to do this to you, Jake Hoffman. I mean, the snapper and you get in the spotlight, but we have to. You don't want to be in the no. spot. Offense alignment, no. snapper, especially a long snapper. You don't You don't want your name to get mentioned unless you're making a tackle down the field. It's like being the holder. You're only mentioned if something goes wrong. <laughs> so let's try this again. First punt for Tucker McCann. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like we've seen this before mm -hmm. in yeah, week this, zero, didn't we? This feels a little like Arizona's field goal unit. Well, that Prior had a happy snap, ending. False start. Offense number 32. Five-yard penalty. Remains fourth down. If he, if he boots a 70-yard punt here at elevation, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out just like it did for the Wildcats in Honolulu last week. All right. Take three. Third time's the charm. Tucker you know? McCann can make this all go away. From the goal line. Excellent snap from Jake Hoffman. And Tucker McCann gets it away. Booming kick. Conway backs up to the 30-yard line. Conway across the 35. He crosses the 40. 
to the 44. So Conway with a solid return after the punt from Tucker McCann. But the issue has been Wyoming has done nothing against the Tiger defense. Well, this defense has been tremendous. The front seven for Missouri has been completely engaged, and they're getting skinny. They're getting, they're getting between the tackles easy enough. They're just dominating the line of scrimmage. If you want to win football games, it starts up front. They're winning both on the offensive side and especially on the defensive side of the football. Well, Ryan Walters, their defense coordinator, is just daring them. You have to beat us with the throw. We can play man-to-man -man out there. We're athletic enough to do so. We're going to have numbers in here and see if you can start beat us. Another stoppage prior to first down from the 45. Remember also, Barry Odom's a defensive guy. Oh, yeah. He's going to say, I got your back. Go ahead and load that box. I asked Barry Odom, are you involved on the defense? He says, no, it's Ryan's defense, mm -hmm. but I do sit in on meetings. Ryan Walters was with him at Memphis. And safety at Colorado. Ooh, big pop on the QB, but Burroughs keeps rolling. Chambers tried to throw a block and took a big pop, but Burroughs able to get almost 10. And that's a tremendous read. Defensive end's a little slow getting out of his stance. He goes upfield thinking the quarterback's going to run downhill and a power not so fast by running backs getting outside. Keep it going. Hey, you cross the 50-yard line. Let's see if you get the first down now. Look for a play action pass here. Feels right. Chambers, after they cross the 50, handoff, it'll be Burroughs, and he gets the first down. So move the chains first, then now I, maybe take I think this shot. is the point now. You got you get the first down, you get that knocked out of the way. Now you know in the back of your head, you got probably four downs now. You're, you cross the 50, you're on the 40. I think a shot's coming, either this play or the next play. You it's got to. It's man-to-man -man coverage. You got to take a chance. It's incredible how many offensive coordinators feel some freedom when they cross the 50. And Wyoming crosses the 50 for the first time today. Zero passing yards for Sean Chambers. Keep it on the ground. Burroughs right side. Very little doing this time. Garrett and Bolton on the stop. Give Brent Began, the offensive coordinator, some credit here. He knows this time of possession is out of whack. He knows that defense needs some rest. Even though he's inclined, and I know he's inclined to call some of these shot plays that he's been saving up, he knows he's got to take more valuable time off this clock to save that defense. Well, last play, Missouri right there went to a cover four, and they talked about it yesterday. If they're going to be playing cover four, look for some kind of post route. So maybe they need a little bit of a confirmation, and maybe we'll see a shot. Second and nine. Fake it, toss it, complete. And that is the first passing yard to the game for the Wyoming Cowboys. Raheem Ismail Jr., Little Rocket, first down. Great RPO right here, a run pass option. You can see he reads the safety. Safety comes down to fill. He takes advantage, hits the slant. Cover four is Aaron, the quarterback guru, is quarters coverage, meaning there are four deep defenders each having a quarter of the field. First and 10 from the 25. Valade in the backfield with Chambers. Drops, steps up. Chambers dancing. Chambers tries to stiff arm and a nice open field tackle by Joshua Bledsoe, the junior free safety on second down. That's impressive because that could have been a lot more dangerous of a run play right there. You get a big quarterback full steam ahead of him and Josh Bledsoe, number 18, does a great job coming in from a safety position to knock him down for about a three or four yard gain. Defensive coaches raved about Bledsoe and how much he's improved. That's going to be the quarterback kind of progression. Look for look for a couple of receivers and then take off. And off second and seven. Valaday takes it to the 16, and Cole Garrett makes the stop. You're going to see over and over in this offense hard sweep where they can hand it off. You saw the fly receiver running by. They didn't give it to him. And part power. They'll do it with quarterback in the sweep, the quarterback in the power. They've got a number of variations, but it's kind of like an inside-outside pick-your-poison running attack. On third and one, 
Chambers gets a push on the left side behind the 354-pound Eric Aboje to move the chains. We're also with those jet suits going back to that, Rick. And the big thing, too, is they understand speed wins, and right now Missouri has more speed offensively and defensively. So how do you go against that? With shifts, with motions, with jet sweeps, things to get a safety or a linebacker just to stutter his feet for a split second. So I anticipate seeing more and more of that throughout the night to kind of get this defense guessing a little bit about where the ball's going so they can't use that speed. Chambers, fake it, toss it complete, inside the five, first and goal, Wyoming. Aiden Everhart makes the grab, gain of 11. A beautiful run pass option. Again, you can see his eyes on the defender. He finds the outside receiver because the defender is inside the box, and he puts a strike on him. Now they're inside the five. What a critical drive for Wyoming to establish not only rest for their defense, but getting back to within one score in this game. I'm looking for him to be in four down here, guys. First and goal. Chambers is going to keep it again. First and goal. Trying to find the edge. Keeps his feet, but he's down at the two. Ron L. Perkins makes the stop. You have second and goal. And he's going to be kicking himself with that one. May have pulled it a little bit too early. Defensive end was actually up the field right there. He gives it to his running back. He has an opportunity to get down there. But this is this is four down territory right now. You need to put seven points on the board. Plain and simple. You can't expect to get back into this ball game the way Missouri scoring by putting up three points. So three more downs with a quarterback that's that big. Be ready for some quarterback power possibly. Second and goal from the two. Chambers keeps it. Chambers hit in the backfield, trying to take the Tigers with him. No game down to the two again. He gets the mouthpiece popped out, and you have third and goal coming. Nick Bolton delivers the blow, and Sean Chambers felt it. He's got a long way to go before he's Tim Tebow, but he has Tim Tebow toughness. I promise you. The kids on this team follow him. He's a true freshman, only having played four games, so he gets his year back, and he's yet he's a captain on this team. The guys on the sideline get off the bench to watch this rugged guy see if he can get his way into the end zone third and goal fake it chambers rolls and missed the wide open touchdown harshman at the goal line had the tight end for a touchdown and instead fourth and goal the field goal oh, unit comes oh, on man i mean it, you couldn't draw it up any better if you're an offensive coordinator great job Defense sells out. I tell you what, you know this. Those are sometimes the hardest ones to hit. They're so open, and you just want to put it nice and easy on his chest. Hey, it's backyard football. Rip it, put it right there, and he scores a touchdown. That's that's going to hurt them right there. Your eyes tell you it's open, and your feet aren't ready to throw. You have to relax and just put a little air underneath that. Cooper Roth, one of the best college kickers, boots it through. Well, that was the tale of 2018 for the Wyoming Cowboys. Too often settling for three. Now we get the empty formation. And this is Albert O time. They can see who matches up with the big fella. Bryant going to keep it. Out of the empty set. Bryant designed run. And he shot back. Lost a football. It is scooped up. And all the way back. Touchdown. C.J. Colden picks up the loose football and turns it into a 31-yard touchdown. For all that we've said about Kelly Bryant, his maturity and his uh, comfortable appearance, he cannot turn the ball over. That hasn't changed whether he's at Clemson or at Missouri. What an opportunistic play by Wyoming. And this crowd is back into Boy, it. He's holding like a loaf of bread, plain and simple. You can see the back end of the football right there. And he's going down, going to brace, and it just pops right out. If you're going to be a running quarterback, number one thing, protect the football. Put two hands on it when contact's imminent. Roth for the PAT, and the Cowboys charge back after a 14-0 start for Mizzou. A field goal for the offense, a touchdown for the defense. Gandy knocks it free from Kelly Bryant. C.J. Colden picks it up and rolls 31 yards. Touchdown, Wyoming.
football is a team sport, but it's not just the guys on the field. It's the unsung heroes who help us win throughout the season. They're tough and hardworking. For these professionals, Werner products are an essential part of every job. They're versatile, adaptable, and always up for the challenge. They deliver balance and trust, and you can count on them for quality. They've worked their way to the top and stay there. Now's the time to find great deals on Warner products. Visit stepupwithwarner.com to learn more. Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 monthly premiums or $0 deductibles. Call now. The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-558-7165. That's 1-800-558-7165. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug Free Kids. You know we love it. Oh. Got it. This is how you do it in the big leagues. Bryant turnover turns into a touchdown for Wyoming, 14-10 here in Laramie. This summer's hottest hoops league is coming to an end tomorrow. Two Eastern join CBS Sports Network as we break down the teams competing for this year's title. All leading up to the championship starting at 3 on CBS. It's the Big 3 Championship Game Preview on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. We just saw Kelly Bryant there on the sideline. Somebody got a grin on his face, probably trying to keep him loose. Loose isn't the problem here. They're plenty comfortable, but comfortable can't turn to casual because these Cowboys are here to win this game. Another touch back to the 25. Let's check in with Jenny Dell. Update on Missouri wide receiver Jonathan Johnson. He was getting looked at in his right wrist thumb area, particularly the thumb. He put his gloves back on, and guys, he just grabbed his helmet. So it looks like he's going to be good to go back in the game, but I'm telling you, he was wincing in severe pain. That looked like a pretty good pop, and you can see Johnson very uncomfortable. Thank you, Jenny, for that update. Good news for Missouri. Now he's going to not going to be out there for first down, but we'll keep an eye on Jonathan Johnson throughout this one. Also keeping an eye on Albert Oquebonum, who has not been not made a catch yet. Albert O. Bryant turns, hands off, round tree push. And Jackson makes the stop. So here's the first 10 pass attempts of Kelly Bryant's Missouri career. It was a, I mean, near perfect start for Kelly Bryant when he lead back to back touchdown drive. Yeah, he did a tremendous job. That one big pass of 29 yarder on the run, deep cross, showed tremendous accuracy. But everything else has been just dink and dunk, which is perfect for him. Parker and Alberto both in for second and seven. Handoff, round tree, shoving inside the 30. Round tree, third street, 1,000-yard rusher for Mizzou last year. It's never been an issue for Kelly Bryant with mid-range accuracy, the RPO game, all that stuff. He's, he's built for it. The question is, can he make those NFL-style throws down the sideline when it becomes third and long? We're in a third and four here. He's still within his offense. But when it gets third and long, or you go back to that Alabama playoff game, he went 16 for 36 in that game for 124 yards. That's where he was a little bit exposed and why Trevor Lawrence's skill set was the choice for Dabo Sweeney. But now he's a Missouri Tiger, and Bryant takes a hit on third down. Terrific grab downfield, but it was Malawia who got the pressure on Kelly Bryant, and it was major pressure. Great throw, just an inside fade, puts it right in the bread basket. You got to come down with that catch. Barrett Bannister laying out to try and make that grab, but here's the look for Bryant. Great job standing in there. He knows he's going to get hit. You love to see that from a quarterback. 
he knew pre-snap though, man to man, that's the time you want to take a shot with these inside fades. He put it right there where he wanted to put it. The receiver has to finish the job then and make the catch. McCann second punt. Gets it away, Conway back. Solid return last time. Conway takes it at the 25. Has a bit of a seam. Runs into a Missouri defender, then cuts it back. Conway shakes his way to near the 40-yard line. It was a 14-0 start for Mizzou, but the second quarter belongs to Wyoming. Cowboy football. Yes! Loser buys lunch. Go, 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 go. Okay, Jack. USAA Bank has you covered. Thanks, Chief. Nice and easy. Hop in. Don't sweat it, Sergeant. With no monthly service fees, you've been saving a little extra. That means more for corn dogs and maybe some practice. USAA Bank helps you save a little more money for when it matters. Find help at every turn with USAA Bank. I got it. Summer is over and fall is here. It's time to get back to school, back to work, and back in the blind. Because opening day is coming, and off-season daydreams are about to become a reality. It's your season. So head to Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's kickoff sale and save on archery gear from Blackout, plus camo clothing and footwear from Redhead and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Build for the guy who has everything and needs to tow it. The tow and stow is equipped with multiple ball sizes and adjusts in one inch increments to the height of your trailer for level towing. Best of all, it stows when you aren't using it, away from your shins and garage door. Machined from American steel with a two stage finish, the tow and stow is the last hitch you'll ever need. My mom never let me eat this much cookie dough. What would she say if she saw you eating this big scoop cookie dough blast? I don't know. I ask her. Don't tell your father. <laughs> oh, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Hurry in and scoop up our new cookie dough treats. Try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. It's the Labor Day sale at Ace. Save with great deals throughout the store. Our top paint and stain brands are buy one gallon, get one 50% off. And with our extra mile promise, get everything you need to paint in one trip or delivery is free. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Tigers lead the Cowboys here in Laramie. College football celebrating 150 years. And we're looking back at significant moments. Missouri fans are saying, oh, no, not the fifth down play again against the Buffs. Now, Rick, you were not there, but you certainly have. I'm a Colorado man. Oh, about that one but even i can count to four <laughs> i actually asked the great coach mccartney about that after i joined the staff and coach back couldn't look me in the eye he went on about his business didn't answer the question and did the buffs even get in the That's end zone saying. on well, the fifth down play at the end of the day he's not in you need replay they didn't have replay and uh you know it's history now but no he he wasn't in did not cross the goal line they look good in the national championship game though didn't they those buffs right and there's a banner in boulder national championship and then rick neuheisel stepped in and had a fantastic career coaching the buffaloes that's incomplete tip second this, down coming this is one of the great signs of youth watch this quarterback stand back and try to throw it a hundred miles an hour when you have a, a, a young player, when they say, if he's open, I'm going to throw it. If he's not open, I'm going to throw it harder. That's where you have to start to dial and reel back. Well, that's the that's Brett Fart mentality right there. Let me just throw it as hard as I can. If my guy can't catch it, no one else will because these defenders, I mean, it went right through Gil Garrett's hands right there. Unbalanced set. Chambers, hand off. And a hole opens up. And it is wide open in Wyoming. Touchdown, Cowboys. Cowboy Joe has got some answers right now. There it is, the inside-outside offense. Give the fly sweep. You get somebody out of position. There's nobody overlapping at the back end. And you crease them through the inside. Beautiful job by Valaday keeping his eyes up. And now he sees Pater. I tell you what, the most dangerous lead in all of football is a two-score lead. You start getting comfortable, all of a sudden team goes down, scores, you get a turnover, another score, and then a big run, and now you're losing the ball game. Tremendous job by the offensive line right there. Ross sneaks in the PAT. 
a 61-yard touchdown run. X Xavier Maladay to put Wyoming on top of Mizzou. this much cookie dough. What would she say if she saw you eating this big scoop cookie dough blast? I don't know. Why ask her? Don't tell your father. <laughs> oh, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Hurry in and scoop up our new cookie dough treats. Try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. It's the Labor Day sale at Ace. Save with great deals throughout the store. Our top paint and stain brands are buy one gallon, get one 50% off. And with our extra mile promise, get everything you need to paint in one trip or delivery is free. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. We're pretty different. Everyone in your family is different. That's why Verizon lets everyone mix and match different unlimited plans. So you only pay for what you need. Switch now to Verizon. New plans start at $35. Just $35. The network more people rely on gives you more. Boys, 17 straight points, and the hole opens up the middle for Valaday. Well, I just want you to focus right here on the left guard of Boje, and then the safeties as well get confused. They don't rock and roll and get in the right position, but the left guard gives you a little two for one. You see the safeties get out of place with a jet sweep motion, and there's no one left. Plain and simple. Great job, left guard. Mistakes on the back end with both safeties. Not rocking and rolling, getting a safety high, and then there's no one left. Plain and simple at the end of the day. The unbalanced formation actually caused. Demarcus AC the corner to go back and try to be the safety he wasn't aware that he needed to stay in the middle he ended up staying as a contained player which is his normal assignment as a corner and they had nobody to overlap after a 14 nothing start for Missouri 17 straight for the Cowboys they bowl leave and look at how things is have that a poker in the player second or quarter. oh you talk about a tough guy talked to Craig many times. He loves these small towns where people are gritty, dealing with harsh winters, don't care about anything. Guys who live on the, the land. He used to have a pilot's license when he was coaching at North Dakota, <laughs> North Dakota State. What did he tell you about Wyoming then? He said too many mountains. <laughs> Bryant over the middle. It is caught. A shoe loose, but the football is it loose as well. Albert O makes the grab and then gives it. We're going to check. It's incomplete. We're going to call it an incomplete pass. Right on the field is an incomplete pass. Second down. Gandy nearly had another takeaway for the Wyoming defense, and we take a very close look. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at this one. Has that control. doesn't look incomplete, guys. No. Is there control at any point by Alberto? You see the initial catch turn, and then now the ball's starting to come out. Certainly carries another yeah. look. Ken Williamson had his mic on, and now it's off, but I'm pretty sure we can tell you what he's saying. The previous play is under review. Now, Ken, please turn it off. But this is clearly going to be one of those, does he catch it and turn and make a move? That's he, a replay officials always talking He looks talking. like he catches it, moves. You see him secure it for a split second as he's going down, and then midway going down is when the ball then comes out. So I think he makes a move. And I would the ball absolutely out. say that's a catch and a fumble. Yes. He is absolutely making a football move right here. The ball gets stripped from the top. 
and it gets away. And it's surprising to me. We talked about Okuwebunam at the outset of the store. This is the number one tight end in the country if you talk to NFL scouts. They look at this guy and say he's a can't-miss guy at the next level. This is his first catch. It looks like a catch and a fumble. We'll wait and see what the determination is. It may be an incompletion, which would mean he still doesn't have a catch, and we're six minutes left in the first half. Play the... War Memorial Stadium crowd just got a look at it. They've made up their minds, at least the Cowboy fans. Shocking that they would lean that way. You know, and this is what replay officials see. It's, you're looking to see, is there a catch? Is there a turn? A, a second act sometimes. To there see there was they're... definitely a second act there. I mean, you have to be alarmed a little bit for Missouri. I mean, you've seen all these games from week zero through Thursday, Friday, and then earlier today of all the turnovers of not taking care of the football. And it's been hard to them all week long. Take care of the football. Don't make mistake. Yeah. Yeah. After further review, the rolling of field is confirmed. The pass is incomplete. Second down. I disagree. Rick, we're 0 for 1. I think I'm 0 for 1 for the year. I don't know if you had one last week in a while. I'm 1 for 2. There you go. At least you're 50. I'm batting. Zero. But I don't mind missing that one. I still think that that was a uh, catch with a problem. I'm with you. He made a football move. He made a turn. The ball was secure as he was going down and then got punched out. Okuwebunam still has zero catches, but right now, that's good news for Missouri. Bryant, second down. Roundtree trying to cut it back up the middle, and clearly the Cowboys playing with an aggressive head of steam. You have third down, and yes, it's early in the second quarter. I mean, to start looking at the clock, but the way Wyoming wants to play it, you get a third down stop here. That could be huge for the a Cowboys. A year ago, they had five straight drives of 70 yards or more that resulted in touchdowns. Drew Locke was the quarterback. He threw for well over 300 yards. They got to find a way to get some balls down the field. Three down here. Short completion. Beatty, he's dropped. There is a flag down. Halliburton comes up to make the stop. Missouri doesn't have a first down in this quarter. And for now, a stop on third down, but we'll check the flag. Looked like Wyoming offside. jumped offside. Defense number 97. Five-yard penalty remains third down. A, a veteran quarterback right there, you know you have a free play. Don't throw a hitch. You see it? You know it's a penalty. He had three vertical routes there. Just throw it as far and as high as you can. Incomplete, whatever, interception, whatever. But Kelly Bryant needs to know in that situation with that snap. I'm going to let it go and see what happens. My guys are faster than the DBs. It's third and two. Jonathan Johnson is in the slot for third and two. Next to Jonathan Nance. Johnson who left with a big bang on his right arm back in the game. Round trees in the backfield. Unbalanced set. Bryant. Looks to hand to Roundtree, pushes very close. I think he got it. Got it. First down. Boy, Roundtree on that little, little, little miscommunication in the backfield. They did not get this right. You can see the mesh was not as it was designed to be. Roundtree, give him credit for making the adjustment. Fake it. Brian on the roll. Downfield, heavy traffic completes it in the middle. That's Jalen Knox who makes the grab near midfield. That's the second time we've seen him roll to the right and deliver the ball accurately down the field. This is a tight window right here. I thought he, that linebacker did a great job. Kenyon Blankenbaker coming back, but good accuracy on the throw. So now Missouri, after a first down in the hurry up, right downfield, looking long, and it is off the hands of Knox. Trying to dial up Jalen Knox again, Tyler Hall in coverage. Tyler Hall, best cover corner. We talked to Jake Dickerton. I asked him, who is your guy if you had to match up one-on-one -on -one against a three-by-one set? He said, Tyler Hall is our guy. If we can do it, if we can put him on their best receiver, we're going to match him up. Great job right there. Great patience he showed. Didn't get antsy just because the ball was in the air. After a shot on first down, second and ten. Bryant. Over the middle. Caught. Albert O hangs on to this one and goes rolling inside the 25, leaping his way to the 20 yard line. And last, a first catch for the big man. And he goes rolling for 32. Well, let's give some credit to the offensive line Absolutely. here. It's incredible. I mean, this team, this unit gave up 13 sacks last year. They're dominating right now. I mean, Kelly Bryant had all day to throw that football. First and 10 from the red zone. 
Roundtree, right side, short game, inside the 20. And we want to talk about Kelly Bryant, the running back, the receiver, Albert Owen, and, and as we should, these guys are very talented, but this offensive line, 13 sacks last year, 13 sacks in 2017. I wish my offense line was that good. No, no offense, I love my boys back at Georgia, but 13 sacks? You know, Drew Locke had all day in the world last year, and you were seeing Kelly Bryant right now very comfortable if he has to take a drop to sit back there and find out who his receivers are. On second down, it's Beatty on the left side. Beatty pushes to the 10. He'll be a yard short. Third and one coming from the 10-yard line. Gandy makes the stop, gain of seven. That offensive line should be on the all-name team. Yasir Durant, Larry, Larry Brown, Tristan, uh, Cologne Castillo, Trey Bohr, Wallace Sims, and Hyron White. Those and, are some great names. And all of them good. Beatty on the left side. First and goal, Mizzou. Beatty picks it up running behind Yasir Durant and Larry Borum on the left side. Alawiya makes the stop. That should be the name of the play. Follow Borum. Yeah. Burrow behind Borum. He played some right tackle last year, now with left guard. Bryant, first and goal. Round three, left side again. Takes it to the five-yard line, second and goal, Mizzou. Derek Dooley getting back into the rhythm of the beginning of this game, just following this run pattern, remembering Kelly Bryant's always a weapon to take it himself. Have a player down for Wyoming, and it's Josiah Hull, the senior defensive end. So stoppage in play here as the Wyoming training staff tends to Josiah Hull. So, Rick, you talked about the play calling for Derek Dooley. I mean, it's a, it's a different look than Drew Locke, but he's he's seen a lot of different looks. I mean, Tennessee, and then five years, the Dallas Cowboys, and now second year, and believe it or not, his first OC job. I asked him about uh, his stint with the Cowboys, and he said it was really good for him, having dealt with all the head coaching issues that go along with that job, both at Louisiana Tech and, and uh, Tennessee. I got to go back and just coach people and get those relationships, those one-on-one -on -one relationships with players. And I also got to see the head coaching job from the role of an assistant who has been a head coach. That, to me, was fascinating but he's really gelling with Barry Odom they've got a great relationship Barry spends most of his time on the defensive side of the ball and it's it's a great challenge for him because a year ago they had an NFL arm and Drew Locke the 42nd pick in the draft and now he's got more of a dual threat guy and how do you tweak your offense to incorporate all the skill set it was interesting Barry Odom said he, he'd like the thought of hiring Derek Dooley because he trusted him to be the head coach of the offense he could focus on the defense and helping out on that side of the football complete trust with coach Dooley he said hey here are the keys to the offense go do your thing and we'll see what he has for second and goal with Brian and Roundtree in the backfield Brian fade end zone it is incomplete a lot of contact no flags Massey locked up on the edge with Tyler Hall and it brings up third and goal it's the one-on-one -on -one outside as a quarterback but that's a long throw you're talking about throwing from the left hash these aren't pro hash these are college hashes all the way to the back end zone you got to put a little bit more juice on this your receiver has the height throw it you, up I think put you need to there. find somebody else to pick up the Hall kid I would not that try too. I don't know you throw it a little Some bit NFL scouts that are sitting there going that guy can play and now third and goal. After 17 straight points for Wyoming. More disguised by Coach Dickert's defense causes a timeout here. Use a timeout with 2.20. Timeout, Missouri. Second timeout for the half. This will be a 30-second timeout. 2.20 away from the half. Coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report, Brent Stover, Brian Jones, Houston Nutt, Kevin Carter scores and highlights from around the country. Plus, first half highlights and stats and reaction to already some surprising results in college football. And week one, we had oh, we had fun, one man. we had one shocker in week zero in the Mountain West, and now even more in week one as we just get it rolling. It's been a fun day. Week zero, I mean, you boys had a great one. There's some great games. The Florida-Miami game was fun. The Hawaii game was fun. Upsets left and right. Tennessee, right. Tennessee goes down. Uh, it's
it's been a whirlwind, but it's fun. I mean, college football is back. You gotta love it. I mean, the even Northern tonight, you're looking Iowa at Iowa and Iowa State going mm. to three overtimes today. And how big is that Memphis win over Ole Miss? It is getting warm. SEC's in the hurry in getting spanked around a little bit today, pretty much. Oh, that was Aaron that Murray, the SEC's Murray? all-time Dude, passing smokes. leader, who drops that smokes. one. Hey, man, tell, I, I call it as I see it. It's been a bad day, especially for the East. Well. Missouri from the east has a chance to change that here. Third and goal out of their second timeout. Bad led touchdown drives on the first two Missouri possessions. Alberto near side. Bryant looks that way. It's tipped at the line of scrimmage and it is intercepted at the five yard line. Taken away by the Cowboys who hang on to the lead. 2.15 before the half. The fumble recovery for a touchdown gets the INT. I like it. We'll take a look. Yeah, I think that one bounced look. off the ground, but a great defensive call. They went to what we call goal line seven or kind of a Tampa two down on the goal line, which string seven defenders along the goal line. Had great eyes, passed off the receivers. Nothing there for Kelly Brown. Ball gets tipped. A great effort, but I think this is going to come back. Had a, a potential Missouri turnover early in this drive come back. Maybe not. Maybe they're not looking at it. Not yet. I don't know if you're you Wyoming, can. you get up to the line and snap it in a hurry, right? Early on the field was a catch interception. The previous play is under review. Yeah, you can tell it starts to roll around a little bit. There is no way for the point of the ball to do what it did. Nope. I know the arm obscures, obscures it, but you see it bounce back up. That, that has to mean it hit the ground. All right, let's go to the rule book here. Player has control the ball. <laughs> a slight movement of the ball, even if it touches the ground, will not be considered loss of possession. He must lose control of the ball in order for there to be a loss of possession. But that is a pretty clear look. You see when the ball bounces vertically skyward, it could not be his arm based on that bounce. It had to have been the ground. Whether they'll make that conclusion because you can't see it with the naked eye, we'll wait and see. And the other part of that section for Article 3 is winning question. The interception is not completed. That appears to be on replay a significant question. And talk about a huge review. I mean, and the consequences for this one. This is classic. The, the loudspeaker right. is playing the Beatles' Let It Be. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. I absolutely oh. love that. Listen, Missouri may get two good calls on this right now. Earlier with Albert O and that questionable catch or no catch, and then right now may escape with another one that could have been an interception. There's two will, turnovers. There will be an After answer. After further review, the pass is rolled incomplete. Therefore, fourth down, the five-yard line, the left pass. Not Beatles fans. <laughs> There's no let it be. So now fourth, fourth down for Missouri. So again, uh, get rule. back, get back was the song they wanted. Back to where you once belonged. There you go, JoJo. Instead, it's Tucker McCann on for a field goal to try and tie it. 22-yarder, fourth and goal. So incompletion, third and goal. The field goal unit was ready and waiting. McCann, 22-yarder, is good. And we are even at 17. 2-11 before the half at Laramie. Joe, marketing sales director. Me, Tom, director of marketing sales. There's only one way to win in the corporate world. Personally, I wish there were more ways to win. Like how FanDuel's free pick'em game gives you more ways to win this fantasy season. Agreed. Just make your picks every week for a shot at 10 grand. It's so easy to play. Easier than laughing extra super hard at the boss's jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, boss. <laughs> There's more ways to win this season on FanDuel. Play FanDuel's free pick'em game for a shot at 10 grand every week. Action-packed drive from Missouri results in three points, but the Tigers are happy to take those three points after a couple of near turnovers by the Tiger offense. So we're back to 17 first points of the second quarter for Mizzou after they dominated the first. A tale of two quarters, right? That's right. Missouri up 14-0, looking like this was going to be a replay of last year's 40-13 dominant performance. 
but they didn't tell Wyoming that was the script. Wyoming came back, played their tails off in the second quarter. Now we've got a ball game again. Interesting clock drive here. 2-11 left. Job one is to make sure you don't give the ball back to Missouri. Job two is to find a way to get some points. Touchback, take it back to the 25. You go back to Aaron Mead. This is the Wyoming touchdown that should have been. It's been a tail. Yeah, right now, easy throw in the flat. Should have been a touchdown. It's not. You get three points. And then, boom, great defense, great form tackle. Knock the ball with Kelly Bryant's hand. Run it back for the touchdown. Get this crowd going. Get them juice. And then, boom, great job with the misdirection on the jet sweep. Get safeties out of place. And all of a sudden, you're running in for a long touchdown right there. 17-7. It's going to be a good ball game. It's going to be a four-quarter game. Be interesting to see if Barry Odom uses timeouts here if they try to run the ball, which will be my guess. And the one timeout left for Missouri. So if they get it to a third down, we'll see. Chambers keeps it. Chambers finds it on the left side. It's wide open in Wyoming again. Touchdown, Cowboys. Hey, that was a stiff arm and a half right there, baby. Knocked him to the ground. This offense should be termed Doc Blanchard, Glenn Davis. It's inside and outside, and Missouri can't find the ball. This is a beautiful job of some trickeration in the back end. The quarterback ends up having it. There's no one in position, and this guy can run. I mean, there's two guys that could have made a tackle right there, and he just said, I'm bigger, I'm faster, and I'm going to give you a nasty stiff arm right there. Just Kenyon Blake and Baker right to the face, throws him down, and then shows off that speed. That was a fun little run right there. I get the juices flowing up here in the booth. There was nothing little about that run. Yeah, that's a big one. That's, right big one. that's big boy football right there if I've ever seen it. I mean, who's playing keep away? 75-yard touchdown, Chambers. Well, you see it right there. Kale, Kale Garrett, Garrett right has there an opportunity. A little yeah, bit. Kale Garrett has an opportunity. One of the best tacklers in the SEC. A dominant conference when it comes to defense. Misses a tackle. And then one-on-one, -on -one, you miss a tackle as well. Joshua Bledsoe in the back end. So that's... That's a great little stiff arm and run. As you watch this again, though, all that motion that makes it look like the fly sweep is happening keeps those interior defenders from coming downhill, which creates space for the runner. He gets up in there, and Kale Garrett isn't plugging it as he does for the 112 tackles from a year ago. He's got more space, which makes him more vulnerable, and obviously... The quarterback takes full advantage. Chambers out of Kerman, California, mm. the metropolis. I asked him how big, 10,000 people. Josh Allen was from Firebaugh, California. They keep hitting all these big towns in California. So Red, Chambers Red Bull loves small towns. Out of Kerman and the San Joaquin Valley, now out rushing the Missouri Tigers. The last two plays for Wyoming, 61 yard touchdown. 75 yard touchdown and when ball control keep it away from the tigers goes out the window those big play wyoming cowboys they are riding for the brand in the open field well brent vegan is eating meat tonight <laughs> i'm just telling you Brent Vegan is the offensive coordinator. He said he was going to try to keep it simple for his young quarterback, try to not expose him too much to the third down world. This inside-outside misdirection, uh, ball handling in the back end, and the great job up front has resulted in some giant plays, and it's turned the tables. He's earned another Mountain Dew from the 25 now. Beatty, check down, Beatty. Shaking his way across the 30, holding on to the football as he gets nine. One timeout left for Missouri, under two minutes. A Tiger offense that is built to go in a hurry for this. Yeah, and if I'm Wyoming right now, I'm going to play off. I'm going to say, listen, we'll give up a possible field goal, but we don't want a big play. We have the momentum on our side heading into halftime. Just keep everything in front of you. Second and one, Beatty takes it again. First down, roll it into the secondary, gets near midfield. First down, clock stops temporarily, minute 27. The one timeout will be saved for the field goal team, but the clock stops with the with the time, uh, first down, as you just mentioned, Carter. They've got ample time, probably looking to get it to the 25-yard line for the field goal chance. You're at elevation, so you can extend McCann, who hit two from 50-plus last year. That is caught, Bannister. So McCann hit two from 50-plus, including the 57-yarder versus South Carolina. That was one of five.
field goals that day, and especially at elevation, range not an issue, barely one. Bryant goes to Bannister again, and he makes the grab. Halliburton knocks him out near the 40-yard line. I mean, you're in field goal range right now. I, I like what Kelly Bryant's doing right now. Just check it down. You have the clock on your side. The, the clock will obviously stop when a first down occurs. It'll stop when you get out of bounds. Just continue to dink and dunk. Get in the field goal range. If you get more, you can get more. That's awesome. Man. Now Bryant on first down. Time over the middle. Completion. Inside the 20-yard line, Scott cuts it back and keeps rolling inside the 10. Scott lost the football. It's in the end zone. They're going to mark him down. He's down back near the 6-yard line is where they're marking him down. So despite the football rolling free, it's still a gain of 35. The anticipation on this throw is a big dagger route right across the middle. You see him throw it before he even got close to where that linebacker was. He said, hey, there's a gap right there. I'm going to rip Wyoming. First time out of the half. This will be a 30 second timeout. One of the pitfalls of playing back and making things come in front of you, if the opponent is patient enough to take advantage of it, you're going to be on the field a long time. You can see Wyoming's defense got fatigued there. That's why they're taking a timeout to try to shore up here in the black zone. So how do you approach this in the black zone? 41 seconds timeout. Obviously, you've got a chip shot field goal situation here, but you'd rather the touchdown. As oh, long yeah. as you have a timeout, you have the ability to run the ball. It's always a option. It's a 50-50 down, if you will. So the defense has to play both, especially with Kelly Bryant as the quarterback. He can give the zone read. He can do that fly sweep with the quarterback power, or he can be the sweep handing the power off to his running back. There's a multitude of opportunities, which means you're almost always going to be in one-on-one, -on -one, which is why I say look for Albert O. That is a matchup well, that's, nightmare for Mike That's the biggest key right now. We saw him last year in this football game in the red zone have a big day because you have so worried about that RPO, you're so worried about the zone read, the chance of a quarterback running, he slips around the linebacker or safety, and he's wide open in the end zone. It happened last year, like I said, in this football game. Look for him if he's in the game to make some money right here. Oku Wabinum is in the slot, top of the screen. First and goal, 41 seconds. Bryant, time, tosses, incomplete. Beatty couldn't grab it, took a pop. From Logan Wilson, second and goal. They were anticipating man coverage. They ran a rub route. The outside two receivers will try to get in the way so that the running back can get out there. Ends up just a little bit behind him, incomplete. Probably good news it was incomplete. Well, good news, but good job passing it off, though. That's, that's a perfect design for man, but they, they read it well defensively, came over top, switched off, and stopped it. Oku weaving him in motion. Bryant looks like he wants to keep it on second and goal. Inside the five, stretching. He's down near the one yard line third and goal clock rolling they the hurry timeout. up to, will they hurry up here or will they use the timeout looks like they're going to hurry up they know they have ample time now 19 seconds on third and goal bryant and now craig bull runs in it looks like he gets the timeout timeout wyoming second time out of the half Smart this use. Be a 30 second timeout. Smart use by the Cowboys. They know they have ample time, so let's get ourselves organized and get the call we want. We can be aggressive here given that the ball's on the one yard line. I like a run here. here. I like spread them out once again. I'm not going to get in the big formation. I hate when teams put a bunch of big guys in and let's load the box and run the football. I say spread them out, get three, four receivers, maybe split up the tight end, do the zone read with maybe a quick pass, quick hitter off of it if you want, if the box is heavy. But you have the guys up front with the offense line. You have a big running back and you have the ability to run from a quarterback. So I think that gives you the most options and uh, we'll see what they do. For me as a head coach, it's the ultimate Rochambeau game. As long as I have a timeout, it's a 50-50 down. And I, I, I realize that they are, have to sell out now to stop the run because they know I can. I think this is the down to throw on. And then use your, if you, as long as you're committed to going in four downs, which I believe they will be, you go ahead and have another 50 down, 50-50 down on fourth down. And because of the timeout by Wyoming, it's a hard 15 on the clock. So plenty of time here in Missouri. They break it in a hurry. I backfield Brian under center. Brian hands right. Brown tree. Uh -oh. Lost the football. Oh it's scooped goodness. up by Halliburton. And Halliburton is going to go riding for the brand with a stutter step at the 35. Finally wrestled down at the 11. Flag down. Zeros on We're the clock. Either a horse collar or a face mask, which is going to give Wyoming an opportunity for a field goal. Brian 
runs all the way down to make that tackle. However, with the penalty, an opportunity with zeros on the clock before the half for Wyoming. And this is why I hate when you load the box with an athletic quarterback, running back, and receivers. Why bring everyone to the party? It's going to be a cluster. After the change of possession, personal foul, first hard tackle, number seven on the ultimate defensive team. You'll get one play. Now you can't finish a game or a half with a penalty right here. So Wyoming has the opportunity to put three more points on the board before halftime. A Ryan, heroic, I mean, a heroic Ryan. effort to yes. make the tackle, but unfortunately, a penalty associated with it, which gives Wyoming an opportunity to add more points to their seven-point lead. Roth field goal. A senior from Longmont, Colorado, from 23, with zeros on the clock, brings it through, and Wyoming takes a 10-point lead to the halftime against the Missouri Tigers after a 14-0 start for Mizzou. All Cowboys. Wyoming rides into the half in Laramie, 27-17 on Missouri. Down coming as much as the Tigers are lobbying. You got fourth down, offense stays on the field for now. I love it. Find a way to create in the pocket, and then where's my running back? Oh, there's Beatty, dump it down, gets a fourth and short. Ryan, fourth and one. And off Beatty, mono and mono in the hole. Enough on the push. It's a gain of two when they needed one. Wilson versus Beatty. First down, Mizzou. Every offense has a short yardage play, usually a one-word call that tells everybody, get to a position and run this play. It's short yardage. We're going to hunker down and get that yard. It's been interesting to see Beatty get some of these third and short and fourth and short situations. You'd think you put Roundtree in there, but he's showing that, hey, I'm not just a scat back. I can run between the tackles as well. Roundtree fumbled at the end of the half, which surprised a lot of the Missouri folks. Roundtree generally solid with the football. Brian, play clock winding down, gets it all. Hands off, Beatty straight ahead. Takes a big pop and keeps on rolling. He made the point at the end of the half that Wyoming had done a nice job of keeping the running game in front of them, less than four yards a carry. But if you're on the field, you can see that start to wear. The, the legs of the defenders getting a little heavy right now. Bryant on second and five. Fake it, toss it complete. Ten. Spinning down to the one-yard line. It's Jalen Knox. Here comes that hurry up that one yard there. Watch everybody get up on the line. First in goal, Missouri. No personnel changes. First in goal, Bryant snaps it in a hurry. Hands off. Beatty wrestled down. Beatty is dropped by Cole Godbell. Red shirt freshman from Hudson, Wisconsin. I tell you what, Wyoming is just daring them to throw the football right now. Loading this box up. I know they had the one-on-one -on -one earlier in this game. They threw it up to Macy on the outside, number 84. They're going to have to continue to take more chances, whether it's a quick fade, slants, some kind of what we call a pick route. You're not going to call it a pick, obviously. You're going to in trouble for that one. But something in the flat where you're going to rub a guy. It's man-to-man. -man. you got to go into that, play, that part of your playbook. Offenses call them rub. Yes. Defensive head coordinator. Screaming call pick, pick, pick. pick. <laughs> hey, give me a little rub route somewhere, a little back around the receiver. Oakley Wavin and Parker both in a tight end. Brian Pop gets tipped in the end zone and incomplete. It was intended for Knox and knocked away. That ball needs to be thrown over the interior. It needs to be a back line throw, Aaron. If you try to throw a slant, you can see all the bodies in there, and as they trip do, they get their hands up. It, it, if you're going to throw a slant, especially where these college hashes are, it needs to be more to the field. If you're going to try to throw it to the boundary, the location's right where the whole entire offense is. It's right where the offensive line, defense line, linebackers go to the field if you're going to throw a slant. Fade if you're going to go to the boundary. Off of Logan Wilson's face mask to force third and goal for Watch Kelly Bryant and Mizzou. One. All lines. And here, Bryant. Heavy pressure. Bryant delivers. Touchdown. Out of Stuff. Plain as day. I mean, you saw the defensive back, Weber, at the back of the end zone, and this one's getting wiped out. He didn't need to do that. 
Just play basketball. He's so physical. Just play basketball. Exactly. Just, You're the just rebounder. Just post up. That's mm -hmm. plain and simple. You put your butt into his chest. Pass interference. Offense number 81. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat third down. And, and Rick, you know this. Anytime as a receiver you extend your arms out, it's, it's a penalty all day long. You got to keep them in tight. Use your big frame. Box them out. And make the defender go over you to get defensive pass interference. It's been a tough night. We had the, the, the drop earlier, a couple catches on a deep cross, but overall, they've done a great job kind of handling Albert up. That is an unbelievable stat. If you would have told <laughs> the coaching staff at Wyoming those were going to be the numbers as we begin the second half, they say, where do I sign? A big miscue by Mizzou. Makes it third and goal from the 17 now. Bryant stepping up, rolling. Bryant is going to heave it to the back of the end zone, and it's intercepted. Taken away again by the Cowboy defense, and Wyoming has the football and a 10-point lead. You never go broke taking a profit. Albert O was sitting right in front of him. I know it would have only led to a field goal, but Kelly Bryant has played far too much football to be throwing that ball carelessly into the end zone. Cash Malawia, the interception. Cowboys with a 27 points. Chambers, pressure off the edge. He has to step up and roll. Chambers has a first down with his legs, and Chambers goes rolling again after a 75-yard touchdown run in the first half. Garrett finally drags down Chambers here. Great job, pocket moving right here. You're see there's some pressure. Up front, he says it goes through his read. One, two, no one's open. Man to man coverage. No one's alert for the quarterback. I, I don't know how Missouri by now doesn't have a spy, a linebacker, a safety saying, We got to be aware of this guy at all times. We can't just sit back in coverage. Someone needs to be watching the quarterback for these type of runs. 100% agree with that. Gain to 26 this time for Chambers. Hands. Maladay across the 50. Let's check with Jenny Dell. Well, after Sean Chambers missed the first touchdown of the game, he came over to the sideline, was visibly frustrated, but immediately surrounded by his teammates. They were there to pick him up, saying, keep your head up, you've got this. Now, fast forward to the end of the first half. When he ran in for the touchdown, those same teammates straight up giddy, rallying around him, told, saying, I told you so. And still to this moment, guys, this sideline is hyped up watching Chambers out there. That is such accurate reporting from Jenny. Straight up giddy after the 75-yard <laughs> touchdown run. This kid was a scout team quarterback last year. He went into the game, and everybody on the Wyoming sideline got up because he was so popular as a scout team quarterback just to see what he would do. Over 100 rushing yards in the game. Highlighted by the 75-yarder. That is swing to the 30-yard line. Bringing a gang of Tigers and Cowboys with them. Well, this is going to be hard medicine for Barry Odom and Ryan Walters, the two guys in charge of this Missouri defense. But they're just flat being out physical right now. Titus Swin, the true freshman. Important correction. He's actually wearing 34, although he's listed at 36. But that's the true freshman out of Fort Worth, Texas. The Cowboys were excited to get the football in his hands, and you can see why. First and 10, Wyoming. Unbalanced. Chambers handoff, this time Valade, this time only a gain of two. Nick Bolton makes the stop for Mizzou. It's a great play by Bolton, finding his way back in there and getting him around the legs and getting him down. This is complicated when they get into unbalanced formations because gaps shift, and everybody has to move and get into different caps, or you have to have the secondary accommodate the change of formation. We saw that mishap in the first half. Yeah, you, have, you almost have to, make a, you have to make a new center. Uh, the guard now becomes a center, and you've got to shift over one spot. Sometimes it can confuse the defensive line. 241 rushing yards for Wyoming, and now Chambers on just the third pass completion of the game. For Wyoming finds a red shirt freshman Jackson Marcotte at six foot seven. First down, Wyoming. Well, it's, it's awesome. Once you get the run game established, you see everyone flowing down for the run. This is what this offense is going to be built on going forward. Run, run, run. Powerful football between the tackles. And then our quarterback, we're still not sure if he can throw the ball down the field, but we can sneak a tight end into the flat. He pulls it and lets it roll. 
Wyoming three total completions when Missouri has six receivers with two plus, but two red zone turnovers. Three on the day. Cowboys, the football in the lead. Chambers, nothing there on first down. If you're a Missouri Tiger fan, you're going to count on your leadership. And there's a number of guys who we've said earlier have been in close games. They're, they've got a lot of pride. This is a program trying to go from good to great. They've been picked by a lot of prognosticators as a team that is going to be a sleeper. You know, an SEC East, uh, they're going to be in the mix in that deal, giving Georgia a jet. They've got some leadership here. So watch them bow up. Well, they need they need a stop here. They need a field goal for Wyoming to make this a, a keep this a two score game. Chambers, second down. Toss it. Touchdown, Wyoming. Austin Conway. RPO with a capital P for perfect. They're reading the interior defender. He commits to the run as he needs to. And he brought a fastball right there, baby. That's a little Brett Favre action right there. We're going to see if he gets in. The knees stay up. Oh, it's going to be close. I'm sure, they're going to take another look at this, but that was an absolute laser. That was Doc Gooden. <laughs> Brett Favre. Oh, that was that a was, fastball. Let me just rip it. But hey, hey Conway with the route, though. He gets to the top. He gave a little shimmy, shimmy, and then hit the slant or the skinny post. Great job creating separation on the outside. Ken Williamson waiting before the snap, making sure Wyoming doesn't snap it. Going to the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under review. So replay official Ron Leatherwood wants to take another look as we did to see if Conway breaks the plane before that knee hits. See where that right knee hits right there. It's, it depends on if the tip, the yeah. nose of the ball is in or not. The angle we have here looks is good. inconclusive, yes. right? Yes. So it would be hard to take it off if yeah. it's inconclusive, unless there's another camera angle for the officials. Nose of the pigskin, call is touchdown, and you have to have a clear picture in order to overturn it. This may give us a better view right here. Nose is, nose is over, but when did the knee hit, though? Knee is down now. That nose is on the line right there. Well, Carter Blackburn with hands in the air. You're, on, you're, you're, you're committing to that call then, huh? I'm committing to I'm it. trying to get I'm the 50% you. right here. You're going to be two I'm for going, three. I'm, I'm, going I'm trying to go one for two. I'm going touchdown. And that's one of those where because the call is Was touchdown. It? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yep. There, that looks like disputable video evidence as opposed to indisputable video evidence and yet <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised we'll see no, we wouldn't be surprised no, would it? not a good start to the year for me coach you know well we gotta wait and we'll see find out after further review the runner's lead was down with the ball at the half yard line say conclusively it wasn't at the half yard line it was at it the was inch, inch yard line if anything i mean that ball is barely touching i mean if the wind blew it should be in the end zone for goodness but sake you know, so. you know what sometimes they have a view that we don't that's correct good point Rick. True. so the touchdown off the board for now for wyoming i'm still over two for the year you know i, I gotta get this changed up pretty soon this is a uh, sellout defensive attack here. Submarine trying to create some uh, penetration, see if you can make a big play. Valadez, go. he stopped short, and it's Cole Garrett. No surprise, Cale Garrett who comes up to make that, that stop. That's a senior leadership we were talking about, Rick. You gotta step up if you're the senior middle linebacker for this team, enough's enough. Offside, defense number 97. Has to give this a goal, first down. Too much of a sellout, Carter. And that's Myers who moved inside. Had a big play in the first half. Big penalty here. First and goal, half the distance, which ain't much. So now we're back to where we thought that original spot should be, right? One yes. inch away. The ball doesn't lie. You know, it should have been at the, the inch yard line, if anything. At QB sneak it. You got a big quarterback. He can run. Snap it. Let him get in the end zone. You know what? This is a good chance to get your fullback a touch. Chambers and a handoff. Didn't get in again. Got second down and goal. It was Trey Smith, the graduate transfer from Louisville. So second and goal coming. 
one of the uh, lost arts in football, given all the one back that we see is two back and full back offense. Skyler Miller in there at the fullback position. You never get the ball, but it's the fastest guy to the a little, line. Of a little, just a little belly. You yeah. flip around as a quarterback. You clear your hips, allow him to come right down the center and guard. And it's just a, it's 34, 35 belly, right or left. Smith and Miller behind Chambers, second and goal. It's Smith again. This time he's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. <laughs> The INT in the end zone from Bryant turns into a touchdown for Wyoming. And they ran right behind number 69, Eric Abuja, and I would be too. You've been watching him all night long. He has been dominant. He won this left guard position during fall camp, and he does a great job of just shutting everything down, letting the guard, his opposing guard, the right guard, to pull around number 79, Logan Harris. And that was an easy walk and touchdown. But Eric Abuja, number 69, 6'5", 354 pounds, has had himself a night tonight in left guard. It's an interesting little goal line concept right there. The PAT from Rob makes it 34 to 17. Bryant's INT in the end zone, the third takeaway by the one. You're near neutral now. And SEC fans are like, what is going on We want Mizzou fans are certainly feeling like what's going on right now. Bryant, first and ten, hit as he throws complete. There's Albert O. Second catch, and Albert O takes it all the way across the 50. Halliburton finally wrestles him out of bounds. Well, as you watch Halliburton try to get a handle on him, you realize why he's so coveted by the next level. It's surprising he has not been utilized tonight. Maybe as we go further into the game, we're going to find a way to get him the ball if you're a Tiger fan. Gain of 32 that time for Okuwebena, a junior from Springfield, Illinois. I asked Barry Odom how, how much he practiced his name in recruiting, and he says, a lot. <laughs> Bryant turns hands, round three. Inside the 45, pushing against the Wyoming defenders, Garrett Kroll makes a stop after a gain of five. Not urgency right now for Missouri. You don't want to play with... Uh, thinking that you got to score, 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 score. Play your offense. There's still plenty of time in this game. Your offense is already explosive enough. Don't feel like you got to press like you did last series with throwing balls up in the air for interceptions. There's a Wyoming Cowboy down. Wait to double check that number. I agree wholeheartedly with your point, Aaron. You, you, you've got to stay within yourself, but people have to make plays and play within the offense. Don't try to put on a cape and become Superman. That's Rome Weber, the freshman safety who's down. We step aside. Yes! Loser buys lunch. Uh, go, 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 Okay, Jack. USAA Bank has you covered. Thanks, Chief. Nice and easy. Hop in. Don't sweat it, Sergeant. With no monthly service fees, you've been saving a little extra. That means more for corn dogs and maybe some practice. USAA Bank helps you save a little more money for when it matters. Find help at every turn with USAA Bank. Keeping the night interesting is all about setting the right tone. Lower carbs, lower calories, higher expectations. The light beer you've been waiting for has arrived. Corona Premier. Football is a team sport, but it's not just the guys on the field. It's the unsung heroes who help us win throughout the season. They're tough and hardworking. For these professionals, Werner products are an essential part of every job. They're versatile, adaptable, and always up for the challenge. They deliver balance and trust, and you can count on them for quality. They've worked their way to the top and stay there. Now's the time to find great deals on Warner products. Visit stepupwithwarner.com to learn more. This is a payday bar. It has a truckload of peanuts and a caramel core that gets the job done. It's 10.5 centimeters of awesome. Unless you get the king size, which is 14.7 centimeters of oh yeah. Payday. Get to it. Golden Corral's juicy endless sirloin and saucy St. Louis style ribs really put the meat 
can meet me in St. Louis. Endless sirloin and St. Louis style ribs. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. Thirty-four seventeen, Wyoming on Missouri, but Rome Weber still down on the field right now for the Cowboys. So this is the redshirt freshman who earned his starting spot at free safety and one of the real key players in Wyoming's season because you lose Andrew Wingard and Marcus Epps, who started for a combined seven years between them in the back end. Weber comes in, and you go back to two plays ago. Weber chasing Alberto. Yeah, and you see him grab the hamstring there on the right side. That was two plays ago, and then Weber goes down. So now Brandon Smith, the junior, more experienced player at free safety, but a key player for Wyoming out of the game right now. So second and five, Bryant out of the shotgun with Roundtree in the backfield. Kelly Bryant, check down, Roundtree, second and five. Solid open field tackle by Keon Lincoln-Baker, the sophomore of Oak Park, Illinois. But they put themselves in, once again, a position with getting past the 50-yard line, getting this third and short. You don't got to get it all right now. For the first time, this is four-down territory. Absolutely. You got to start getting some touchdowns. But I just think field position two dictates the fact that you have two downs to get this first. Go back to the first two drives from Missouri. Both touchdowns led by Kelly Bryant haven't been in the end zone since. The interception in the end zone on the last possession for Mizzou. Bryant rolling third and two. Pressure. Bryant needs some help downfield. Back to the line of scrimmage and the Cowboys rally on Kelly Bryant again. It'll be a sack. Jackson finishes it off. Eventually, it's a loss of three. What, that's another issue I have right now with Kelly Bryant. You know you're in four-down territory right here. Throw the ball away. So you get right here, all your receivers are on the right. Throw it out of bounds. You keep it to fourth and two. Now it's fourth and six, seven. You may have to punt the ball. And the it punting unit is cool. out. There's another Wyoming player down. I don't like that they obviously it was a bunch formation three receivers all clustered closely together and they and they were all working to create a rub or pick whichever term you want to use and create a ball out there but they were too far away from kelly bryant the ball was going to have to be in the air too long and it gave the wyoming defenders an opportunity to shore it up and cover them and then obviously your point is well made throw that ball away and live to fight again on fourth and one fourth but and one you don't you, you wonder though if it's conveyed to him that we are in four down because it is helpful for the quarterback to know it i know but he should senior. know though he should know you, you there's there's something you're a quarterback i was worried. you know when you get in a situation where you're about the 40 yard line you've played enough football in his life and you're down 34 17 if it's fourth and one on the 39 you're going for it you know that you don't need a coach to tell you he's a senior to his defense new system you know trying to learn new wrinkles football is football though understood understood and I, I i agree with your overall assessment i don't like the width of that yes. bunch to create what they were trying to create well especially if you're gonna be running from the left hash I and mean, that's a long way to go to run to get there and it has to be dang dang pretty much go back that's thrown on third foot yeah this is tyler hole who's down for wyoming so you lost rome weber a couple of snaps ago and now tyler hole your best cover corner it's that stiff arm and a tough tackle on bryant and now hole is down so for the time being wyoming has two of its starters in the secondary out of the game but the punt unit is on mccann first wow. game punting for mizzou and that loss of three changes the dynamic on fourth down to this degree that was a near miss as a 12th wyoming defender leaves the field mm -hmm. and it was fourth and five mccann trying to hang it out of bound but it sails well we'll see marked out of bounds at the 15. so Punt inside the 20. Wyoming football, 34 to 17.
body is truly powerful. I have the power to lower my blood sugar and A1C. Because I can still make my own insulin. And Trulicity activates my body to release it, like it's supposed to. Trulicity is for people with type 2 diabetes. It's not insulin. I take it once a week. It starts acting in my body from the first dose. Trulicity isn't for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, or severe stomach pain. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, belly pain, and decreased appetite, which lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I have it within me to lower my A1C. Ask your doctor about Trulicity. Attention, IHOP has new crispy buttermilk chicken made with all-natural chicken breast, chicken sandwiches, chicken and waffles, cock a doodle yum And for a limited time, IHOP chicken and pancakes, only $6.99. Minute 56 before we get the fourth quarter, and Wyoming is in command. It's a 34-3 run for the Cowboys. Take a look at our Geico difference makers. Well, Kelly Bryant, the numbers, completion, yards, touchdown, but the INT in the end zone, some of the other questionable decisions so far for Kelly Bryant. And then you take it to Sean Chambers, and despite just four completions, he has been the difference maker for Wyoming. He's not turned the ball over. I mean, Kelly Bryant had the fumble. Obviously, he had the interception right there in the red zone. It's taking points away from your team and then giving it to your opponent. And, and you see a Chambers, a young quarterback who's played a lot less football than Kelly Bryant. He's taking care of it. Is his completion percentage up? No. But no turnovers and he's running the ball very effectively. Missouri fans are hoping Kelly Bryant becomes much more a difference maker. Titus Swin is in and running back. That completion on the edge. Well, this one for just the fifth completion of the game for Wyoming, but they run it for 242 against Mizzou. 88 yards was all they mustered up a year ago. 242 tells you how much they sharpened the pencils and gave all these different looks to this now conflicted Missouri defense. I mean, that's amazing to go 88 last year in Columbia and to put up those numbers, including 61-yard TD run, 75-yard TD run, and it's Swin who has it here. The true freshman to the 29-yard line. Bolton makes the stop. Well, Tyler Vanderwall was the quarterback last year. Let's not forget that. It's not like Sean Chambers was the guy when they went, that went to Missouri to play. So you're talking about two different quarterbacks, a passer versus a guy that's, that's a powerful runner. Playing so he is a powerful in between the tackle. We saw the stiff arm. We saw him shrug off, kill Garrett, one of the best linebackers in the SEC. This is a completely different offense than it was week two of last season. Brent Began has committed to this run offense, run first offense, where the quarterback is clearly a run threat. Valade next to Chambers. Valade takes it on second and eight with the blocker ahead of him. It's Harshman blocking for him again. Takes it to the 34. It'll be third down and short if Wyoming chooses to snap it before the fourth. Well, Craig Bull yesterday told us this is not David versus Goliath. We expect to be on the field in the game in the fourth quarter with the Missouri Tigers from the SEC. They're taking it to the fourth, not in the game. They're taking it to the fourth quarter in command at 34-17. to well, It's amazing what the first quarter we were like looking up here in the booth saying Missouri's dominating. What can Wyoming do to stop this team? And all of a sudden we're going to the fourth. It is 34-17. to and we're saying, what can Missouri do to slow this thing down? To the fourth quarter on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. This song? With the kids in the car? Oh, they're listening to something else?
Hawaii over Arizona. Boise State over Florida State. Wyoming trying to add to the list of early season upsets from the Mountain West. They are flexing and flexing in a big way. This has been an impressive performance as they've outscored Missouri 34 to 3 after giving up two early touchdowns. We begin the fourth quarter with third and short. Chambers under center. Fake it. Chambers on the roll. Heats it. Dangerous, but it is incomplete. Looking downfield for the tight end, Weinman, and Oliver nearly had the pick. Fourth down, Wyoming punts. Oh, that is what you cannot do if you're Sean Chambers right there. Position game and you're playing the clock game. At the end of the day, run, run, run. Three runs. I don't care if you don't get a first down. Do a little pooch punt and then once again make Missouri have to drive the entire length of the field right now. Run the football, play field position, and just let that clock run and say Kelly Bryant's going to have to beat us with his arm. But down 10 points with nine minutes to go. Marshman out of the game for now for Wyoming. Fake it. Toss it. Complete over the middle. Ismail makes the grab. And Little Rocket takes it inside the 20. A red zone trip for the Cowboys. Miller finally makes a stop after a gain of 26. Brent Vegan also understands you've got to stay aggressive. This is an RPO. Missouri realizes the strategy you just said, Aaron, and they have everybody in the box. There's no safety. This is easy because the guy's 10 yards off. Sean Chambers, and this is the throw Sean Chambers enjoys the most. Oh, he loves the RPO. He can stay in rhythm with his feet. We talked about the players, and Jenny talked about the players having confidence in Chambers in the or quarterback how about these coaches right now how much confidence they have in him to say fourth quarter we're up by 10 and we're going to let you throw the football it is a big night for this kid chambers snaps it with two on the clock Valaday spinning to near the 10 that 26 yard gain was the longest pass play of the night for wyoming you make a great point that they waited till two were on the clock there's a lot going on for a freshman quarterback right to keep track of the the, the uh, 40 second clock and to make sure that you're getting rid of it as much as you can is uh, advanced stuff well right now you just got to make sure field goal no turnovers we see missouri right now in the red zone young freshman quarterback couple possessions ago he tried to force a ball on a crossing route just take care of the football and make sure you're putting points at the end of this second and four swing in the backfield fake it toss it in zone incomplete another missed opportunity on the backside it was gentry who had a chance this time from chambers coach vegan is going to sit there and say you know what i'm not sure i like the choice i'm going to reel him back in yes. i wanted to stay aggressive this look for this to be a run and look for ryan walters the defensive coordinator for missouri to realize it and have a zero coverage everybody in the box to snuff this out and hold Wyoming to a What issue is if you're going to call an RPO as a coach right now, Missouri's going to load the box. So as a quarterback, you're taught, hey, heavy numbers, I have to throw. So if you want him to run the ball, don't call an RPO at this play. Just call it a simple zone read or a run to the running back. Chambers again snaps it with two. Chambers going to keep it, and Chambers will stretch. He's close to a first down. And another effort from Sean Chambers moves the chains. First and goal, Wyoming. There you go, zone read right there. Say, hey, listen, you had your fun throwing the football. I'm going to give you two options right here. Either you hand the ball off or you're going to run it. I'm going to make a simple read, read the outside linebacker, defensive end. And that's just a big quarterback using all of his might, determination to get the first down. Who knew Tim Tebow wore spurs? <laughs> Guys, yeah, is that cowboy not Tim hat Tebow on. from the glory days? It, it, just pounding away. We just need a jump pass now and he'll it, complete it. It looked like Craig Bull was running down to try and get a timeout. Instead, they snap it, get the first down, and it's first and goal. A chance to bleed more clock as well. Chambers, now they snap it with one. Valaday, right side, stretches to near the two-yard line. Garrett makes the stop. Coach, four down territory here. Because if you don't get it, you're making Missouri have to drive 99. Are you kicking a field goal? I think I take the field goal because I want uh, Missouri to have to score two touchdowns. Like it. This is a beautiful drive. And this is the luxury of all luxuries for a head coach and an offensive coordinator. You're in a great game. You're battling. You've got a chance. And you get to let this clock go. And, it's a, like, and for the for Barry Odom, it's like watching sand go through the iron glass. And a, a touchdown makes it a three-score game with just over seven minutes to go. Chambers in zone incomplete. 
Missed another shot. Ismail this time again. And they've made the correction now. The Missouri defenders, obviously, that where they are in the field is one of the reasons. But they're up in the grill of the Wyoming receivers. They're playing everybody in the box. But that RPO is not going to be available if I'm playing right in you and using my hands. Well, and they're playing, they're, the they're playing inside leverage, too, which you got to do in cover zero. If you're going to score on us, it better be an out route or it better be a fade ball. Right now, if I'm with Wyoming, I'm going to run by number 69, Abuja. You've had success all night long. He's a big guy. Just pound it in. See what you can do. On third and goal. Fake it. Chambers on the roll to the end zone. It is incomplete. Fourth and goal coming. To your point, Craig Bowl was running again because I think he wanted to run the ball. They missed a chance to get 40 seconds off the last play, and now they do again. Did not get the timeout, though, so that's twice Bull won the timeout. One time they get the first down to make it first and goal. This time didn't get the timeout. Well, we have another Missouri Tiger down. We saw Ware go down and come back. This time Christian Holmes, who's his backup at corner, is down right now. Fourth and goal. And the Missouri training staff tending to Christian Holmes. Well, that's a minute and about 20 seconds. Yes, and you could have. Right. It, it should be right now. What is it? 7:05. You should be in the fives right now. If and you would, if you would manage back, it perfectly, if you would manage it, right? Run the football. Your quarterback. Yes, he's made some good throws tonight. But play clock management, especially the way your defense is playing, and the way Missouri's offense looks at the moment. He's given his coordinator yeah, he ain't an happy about right that. Now. Listen, that, for, for you at home, what that means is about eight extra plays yes. in the football game. Mm -hmm. Imagine what those can mean in this kind of close contest. With 7.05 and three timeouts for Missouri, eight extra plays could mean an awful lot. With how fast they go, that's a ton of plays for them. Ooh. Yeah, what do you call that, Coach? Holmes. Coach, friendly fire right there once again? <laughs> For Coach Vegan, this is uh, darned if you do, darned if you don't, right? Stay aggressive, but don't do that if you're going to have an incomplete pass. Welcome to the world of coaching. That's why I'm Brilliant coach. call, you I'd knucklehead. I'd rather, rather just stay up here with you and hang out. And so uh, Roth for three here to make it a 13-point game. Missouri would need two touchdowns, 705. And for the Lou Groza Award finalist from last year, another short attempt, this one coming from 20. Roth boots it through. Wyoming, three more on the board, but Missouri holds them out of the end zone. 37-24. Tiger football. 16. Four down territory now. Still take the underneath. This is a speed differential. Wyoming's going to keep you in front. Snap it on first down in a hurry. Bryant to the outside. Nance inside the 30 with Alberto blocking for him. Nance takes it in. In a hurry. Touchdown, Masu. Nance from 53 yards. Cover two right there. He's hit it in the hole. I think the, the check downs finally got to this for this Wyoming defense. Like, hey, enough's enough. The quarterback came up. You're going to see on the right side of your screen. Quarterback was worried about the running back right there. Doesn't get enough depth. Doesn't get his hands on the receiver. And that's a tough throw to make when you have to laser that thing right in there in between the safety and corner. Awesome job, but that's what happens when you check it down, check it down, check it down. Defenses get sick of it. They come up, you hit it over their head. Yeah, baby, I like it. Late getting an offensive lineman on for the PAT. Good hold. PAT is good for McCann on adventure there. But with 6.19 to go, it is anybody's ball game. Will Kelly Bryant in the night? As the hero for Missouri, Jonathan Nance leads the Tigers to the end zone to make it a six-point game. Get 50% off all Domino's pizzas when you order online. 50% off sausage pizzas, handmade pan pizzas, even barbecue banana pepper pizzas. If you're into that, this week only, get 50% off the menu price of 34 million pizza combinations at Domino's.com. This is a payday bar. It has a truckload of peanuts and a caramel core that gets the job done. It's 10.5 centimeters of awesome. Unless you get the king size, which is 14.7 centimeters of... Oh, yeah. Payday. Get to it. This is amazing. Okay. So, ordering more paper towels. Don't forget to start with Ibotta. Already on it. When you shop on mobile, start with Ibotta. The free app that gives you cash back at all your favorite online stores. That's life rewarded with Ibotta. All right. Spicy tuna roll. Sushi. Sashimi cone. 
With the Grubhub delivery app, if you want it all, you can get it all at Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. Selling on Poshmark is crazy simple. All you have to do is post a picture of, add a description, add a price, and you're pretty much good to go. Right now, I'm selling Air Jordans and Nikes and Adidas, anything really performance related or style related. Download the free Poshmark app now. Home sweet home. Your sanctuary. You know you need to protect it with home security. But traditional alarm companies have made things so complicated, you just keep putting it on the bottom of your list. Simply Safe is changing that with an arsenal of sensors and cameras designed to blanket you with protection, ready to set up right out of the box. So put home security back on the top of your list with Simply Safe. Visit simplysafe.com for a limited time offer. Golden Corral's juicy, endless sirloin and saucy St. Louis style ribs really put the meat in Meet Me in St. Louis. Endless sirloin and St. Louis style ribs. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. The last two scoring drives for Missouri have taken just a minute 52. This one just 42 seconds. Well, patience runs both ways, right? We're talking about Missouri being patient, play underneath. You can see this running back come out into the flat right here. The corner sees the quarterback's eyes and jumps up, creates a rail shot for the quarterback. Kelly Bryant knowledgeable enough to take advantage and Nance to the end zone. It's a great job. That's what happens when you just take your check down over and over again. Defenses hate when the back catches it for two yards, runs for eight to ten. They will eventually take the cheese. They will eventually. It's his second touchdown as a Missouri Tiger transfer from Arkansas. That's a touchback to the 25-yard line as we check in with Brent Stover in New York. Guys, Auburn backup quarterback Joey Gatewood gets a touch at the goal line. Goes over the top of the touchdown. The, the Tigers lined up for two to tie the game. It took a full start penalty, so settled for the PAT. They're down one in the fourth to Oregon. Fourth quarter here. These Tigers down by six. Sean Chambers and the Wyoming Cowboys looking for a momentous win to begin 2019. Valaday gets a first down handoff, finds the edge. Valaday shoved out near the 35. AC shoves him out outside of two minutes. So going out of bounds, not that big of a difference time-wise. And the QB comparison, we've talked about it all night because those three turnovers for Bryant, that's the difference. With the stacking of this Missouri defense, this all-in effort to corral the Cowboy running game, these outside runs are now getting their opportunities. Everybody's in there. Outside guys got to keep an edge so that they can funnel back to their interior teammates. Smith behind Chambers here. Smith takes it. A Louisville transfer. Nothing there. Trying to take the A gap and the Tigers shove him back. No need to worry about timeouts here yet. Uh, you, you probably will wait until the three minute mark to do that. So. What Barry Odom is doing is telling Ryan Walters, stay aggressive, stay in there. I'll take the heat if this Chambers kid beats us with his arm, but you stay after him. It's going to be interesting what that conversation was after the last series with, with Coach Bowling and Coach Vegan about running it or passing it. Right. It's, I think they it's, have it's to stay aggressive out here. 34 is now wearing 89. 34 is now wearing 89. That's Swin. That's his third jersey number of the night. Snap it with four seconds, give it to Swin. And Swin, the true freshman back, number 89, give it to him now because he's top running to make it third and short. Bolden makes a stop, gain of eight. There must, there, we were told by the SID right. they had 334s. Right. That's illegal, so they went and found a number, no name on the back. So he's Mr. No Name right now. And Titus Swin, number 89. <laughs> And so now you snap it on third down, taking the clock down to just outside of four minutes before you snap it on third. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Don't snap it just yet. You want to snap it about two seconds to go. High snap. Chambers corrals it. Chambers pushing, stretching, and moving the chains for Wyoming. Running behind Patrick. 
Cedric Arnold. Chambers made a great snag on that high and snap. And all you wanted for Wyoming this possession was to get two first downs because you get two first downs. Say you don't get another first down the rest of this drive. You punt the ball and now you make Missouri drive the length of the field if they're going to want to win this football game. So you're eating up clock and once again you're playing the field position battle. You're winning both of them at the moment and hey that Missouri defense line at the moment. A couple hands on the hips. That would they're be my second quarterback. That would be my second choice if I'm a Wyoming fan. I'd like to take the ball the whole way. Swins in the backfield behind Chambers. They snap it at two. Swin takes the hand off. 89 dropped by Garrett. When do you start using the timeouts? If you're Missouri, the answer is after first down. We said when you get into that three-minute range is when they're going. What a great play by Chambers. That's why you go to the thriving metropolis of Kerman, California, timeout. right? Missouri to get that 6-4 that can make that play on that ball seconds. that snapped timeout. over his head. West of Fresno, how about Sean Chambers? His dad, Coach Josh Allen, in Youth Bowl in Central California. So the Cowboys have pulled Josh Allen. Now, I'm not saying that Sean Chambers is going to reach Josh Allen, but he's, he's doing it right strength, now. Though. I mean, he, he he has some areas to work on. He Thank can you. play the football. You're welcome. He can, you're welcome. He can run the football. He throws RPLs pretty well. He needs, he needs to now develop the rest of his game to be able to throw the go ball, the post, the corner, the the outside deep comeback. Those things he's going to get comfortable with, and it, it starts with his footwork. He's not comfortable taking a three or five set drop, staying on balance, and then throwing the ball accurately down the field. That takes time. All right, let's talk timeouts here. You use it after first down, meaning if you can stop on second down, use it again. Then your third on third down. Down, and then you, potentially you're, you're maximizing your timeouts on defense here. Potentially you use them right here, given what the distance is. If this were to get to third and one, the likelihood to use the second one there would be small. Out of the first Missouri timeout, Chambers is going to keep it again. Chambers spinning, stretching. Garrett wrestles him down right at midfield. Still wrestling on the takedown. Bull riding the class here at Wyoming? That's right. I, I think Cale Garrett qualifies. Part of Missouri zone. Timeout. Missouri. Second timeout of the half. One left this after the third down timeout. stop. If Barry Odom and Ryan Walters' defense can get it. Plenty of time left on the clock. Our old Trapper Beat Jerky player of the game, Sean Chambers, four games last year. So he comes back as a redshirt freshman. And when the Cowboys have needed him to make a big play, young man from Kerman, California, has done it. This is a question of trust. You obviously have a great deal of it in this young man. He's the starting quarterback just as a freshman. But can he make another big play, and do you put it on his arm? The Missouri defense will gamble. They will be all up. They will say, you have to beat us with your arm. The question is, do you choose to do that with the chance that now it will be fourth and five, or do you go ahead and run the ball, as Aaron is nodding approvingly. Run you run the ball, ball, get that clock going, and maybe, if you're correct, Bowl, given the circumstances of this game, the opportunity to beat an SEC opponent, you might be in four down. So this is third and five, but you're approaching this potentially two downs. I'm keeping that in my holster if I'm the head coach. You see Missouri, I want to stay they're, aggressive. They're I, want my right team, I want my team to know I believe in it. Chambers takes a snap, third and five. Here he is on the road, looking downfield. Flag is down. Chambers finds the edge. Garrett runs him down. 329, third timeout used by Mizzou. We check that flag. It's going to be a hold on left tackle Rudy Stouffer right here as Chambers try to get around the edge. Two years from now, he will let that ball go out of his hands. Holding on the offense, number 62. 10 yard penalty for the previous spot. Down. And I like Missouri and taking the penalty receiver into the flat. Yeah, he should have hit him immediately right here. But good job by Missouri, right there. Boom! You got to give it to the quarterback or to the receiver, your tight end in the flat right there. But I like the I like the, the Missouri taking it back because the thought of Sean Chambers completing a 15-yard pass is not great. So now you're hopefully playing field position yourself, hoping you gain 10 yards with the punt. And it's 10 yards you're going to need anyway. Yeah, because the penalty, you don't have to use a timeout. Barry Odom signaling timeout because the penalty, you don't have to use it. And take it down to about three minutes here prior to third and 15. 
So extra time off the clock, but Missouri saves a timeout. I'm expecting a run here. I think they're going to try to make them take their last timeout. Chambers with Valade. Another high snap. Valade. It's Chambers who takes it. He dives forward. He's dropped by Oliver. 257, 256. They're saving a timeout. And you see the 33 seconds. I mean, that is a big difference with the clock winding down. It's going to be around 220 prior to four. I'm calling a timeout right now. I'm giving my offense I just plenty agree. of time. I like the call. I like saving my timeout for a circumstance that's unforeseen right now. Two over two minutes left in this game is an eternity in college football with first down stopping the clock. Last two punts for Wyoming have been adventurous. 43 yard return by Floyd. Gonna take it all the way down to near 220. Snap it with five. Dalvich punt will bounce out of bounds right around the 20 yard line. So there it is. Two minutes, 19 seconds. One timeout for Missouri. And after all of the woes for Kelly Bryant of the Tiger offense, three turnovers, two in the red zone. You have a chance with 219 to lead the game winning touchdown drive in Wyoming. I think the key is right now is, is don't get away from what you've been doing. He's done a good job. If, the, if, Missouri, if Wyoming wants to play cover two, find your running back. Find your tight end. Let's just continue to dig and dunk. Hey, and then if Wyoming messes up and a cornerback comes up, then take your shot. Plenty of time. You got the, the, the timeout in your back pocket. No need to think you got to just go throw 15, 20-yard chunks here. Given the magnitude of the situation, you'd say this was difficult. But this is actually the easiest of all clock drives because all you do is play fast. You're playing for a touchdown. You're in four down. Everybody knows what your circumstances are. Just play fast and play efficiently. From the 25-yard line, Bryant steps up, throws, complete to the outside. That's Knox across the 35-yard line. Knox shoved out near the 37. First down, Mizzou. And good job getting out of bounds. I worked for a second. He was going to try to get a couple extra yards, but two yards compared to saving some time. Smart move, and that's what these receivers need to know right now. Two to three extra yards, it ain't worth it. Get out of bounds and save that clock. Although the clock rolls ready for play. Outside of two minutes, Bryant. Delivers again. Johnson goes down. Short gain. No need to use the timeout here. Plenty of time. Just stay efficient. Play fast. Stay efficient. Clock now at 148. Bryant, second and five. Slant. Dangerous. Intended for Johnson. It is batted down. Incomplete. Interesting, interesting to watch the, the Wyoming hockey shift, right? The whole defense changes, trying to get some fresh pass rush in here. Two downs. One, one thing about clock drives you sometimes forget, you have to make first downs. Two downs to make it. Don't forget your running game here. Alberto out of the game on third and five. Bryant over the middle. Bannister holds it in, rolling across the Wyoming 40-yard line. And that stops temporarily on the first down. And that was a great throw. Linebacker just a little too slow to get to his Tampa 2 location. Kelly Bryant threat spreading the needle. With the clock rolling again. Bryant complete. Johnson. Cowboys rally to the football at the 31. It's Blank and Baker. Makes a stop. Now Craig Bull finds himself in that purgatory. When do I come after him? When do I use my timeouts to save chance in the, if, if, if they find a way to score? Bryant on second and three. Looking complete over the middle. It's Beatty out of the backfield. Beatty wrestled down inside the 25. First down again. Stop it temporarily with a minute three. Play fast. Play efficiently. From the 25, under a minute to go. Bryant on the run. Kelly Bryant, scrambling, tucks it, and runs out of bounds near the 21. With 46 seconds, Wells Ross chases him out. He wanted to. He <laughs> wanted to throw it. And in that last play, play went two quarters ago, where he threw the interception, trying to force it to his left. Same kind of situation. It's not open. Use your legs. Right this there, you're athletic for a reason. Defensive Run. Jake Dickert has got his his weapons in his hand. When do I use him? When do I fire? He's staying comfortable in his backed up two deep zone. Ogawe with him back in the game for Mizzou. Bryant second and five. Pressure. Run. Now you use the takes the sack, and that's why you keep one in your hip pocket, exactly. right? Just in case Bryant is sacked. Hole gets the sack. 
Timeout used with 41. Timeout, Missouri. Third and final timeout of the half. This will be a full timeout. A full timeout. And with the way that Brian is playing, go back to that last timeout by Mizzou. I mean, you're thinking that, I mean, not sure in first game as a quarterback that in this scenario, you take a sack, you have that timeout, right? Well, you need to not take a sack. That's one. That's that's QB one on one. And he went to QB one on one school as soon as he got to Missouri in January. They took him there to teach him the plays, how to be a quarterback, how to quarterback this offense. And one of the things you learn is in two minute, you can't take a sack. Plain Absolutely and simple. Criminal. You get the ball out of your hands, whatever it is, at all costs. The quarterback always has to have a mental alarm clock. I get a chance to look down the field and ascertain what's going on. On. But Mike, the alarm clock has to go off and say check down. And right in front of him was a back. Now, the back would have run, but the timeout would now have been used with a third down and two call rather than a third down and 11 call. And you, you go back to what you pointed out earlier, Rick. Yes, 41 seconds, you need a touchdown out of timeout. But it's third and 11. You have two plays to get those 11 yards. I mean, that's, don't forget about the first downs, right? Well, I'm, Wyoming right now, I'm playing off again. I'm going to keep everything in front of me. Let them get about seven, eight yards, rally, make the tackle. That's time rolling off, and then you get the fourth down as well. You don't want a big play to get to a first down. The clock stop temporarily to allow Missouri to go spike the football. This is where Craig Bowl has to get involved defensively so that the defensive coordinator knows the head coach is all in on whatever choice he makes. So last time they showed this defense, they dropped out to a Tampa 2. It'll be interesting if they bring the pressure. Looks like they're going to drop out once again and play that Tampa 2 look. Bryant's on third and 11. Rowe pressured again. Bryant gets rid of it, throws it out of bounds. Fourth and 11 with 35 seconds. That should do a good job. Rolled down the cover three weak there. Absolutely. That was a great, great disguise. disguise. Awesome, because you see both safeties off the hash. Last time you saw that middle linebacker drop to the middle, middle third. This time he dropped, free safety rolled down. I think it got Kelly Bryant. It, shoot, it got me up in the booth a little bit. I was expecting Tampa 2 there. Albert Okuwebunam is the number one tight end in the country. Who matches up with him? I give him a chance to make a play here. Lined up in the slot on 4th and 11. Bryant on 4th and 11. Downfield ends up tipped. Incomplete. Wyoming gets a stop. The football with 29 seconds. And the Cowboys celebrate. He had to throw for a first down. You don't fault him for pushing it down the field. But if you look at number 81 here, I believe to a 6-5 target, he had a better chance. Wyoming can take a knee and go to 2-0 versus the SEC in Laramie. We take a look at this again and focus on, there's the ball. Great job by con the converging Wyoming defenders. If we can get a look at... Albert Okawebunam on this play. You can see an opportunity to slip it into the scene. Biggest play of the night is Sean Chambers kneeling down, and the Wyoming Cowboys will win it over Mizzou 37 to 31. An all-night celebration begins in Laradice. How about that Mountain West? How about Sean Chambers grew up tonight? A lot of trust for him right now, and I, I bet you a lot of confidence for him going to the rest of the season. You go out there and play like that versus Missouri defense, you feel good as a quarterback. Barry, Barry Odom's as tough as they come. He'll get this team ready to go as they travel to uh, West Virginia next week. Wyoming goes to Texas State. The Bobcats better be ready. This is a gritty bunch. All eyes on Kelly Bryant all night. But it's Sean Chambers, the winning quarterback for Wyoming. Craig Bull is with Ginny Dell. All right, Coach, your first win against a Power 5 team since 2008 here at Wyoming. How are you able to come into a victory? Well, you know what, first of all, uh, credit, Missouri's good football team. We played better tonight. We made plays when we needed to. Our guys believed in one another. This has been a long time coming, and uh, there's going to be more. I think it speaks really well of our conference and especially well of our uh, program. Early 
earlier you said that the best team is to be a part of the sideline in this first game. You said you watch your guys in fall camp and you come out here and you don't know exactly what to expect. But what did you learn about your team tonight? Well, about in the middle of the first quarter, I knew we were going to be better. I knew we were more physical up front. We had more team speed. And I knew we had a heck of an athletic quarterback. Congratulations on the first week, Coach. Thank Go you. Post. Hawaii over Arizona, Boise State over Florida State, and now Pistol Pete gets to celebrate Wyoming's 37-31 win. Another statement from the Mountain West Conference early in 2019. The Missouri Tigers 0-1 on the year.